like I'm putting chemicals in the water that turn the freaking frogs gay. Do you understand that? Turn, turn the, the freaking frogs, frogs gay. Serious crap. Gay. Frogs freaking frogs. Bam. It's not funny. I'm going to say it real slow for you. Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Tinfoil Tuesday. I hope you're all doing well or you're ready for some conspiracy fun. Thank you. Who oh boy, let's see. People following me. Um Heart of Ven Ven Oh, Heart of Vecna, thank you for following. PK the Lost, thank you for resubscribing with eight months, almost baby time. Colston with 20 bits says, You should read Jordan Peterson's new book for part of Tinfoil Tuesday. I've read the first chapter so far, where he basically says that plebs should be happy they're at the bottom of the hierarchy and that asking for more in life is ungrateful. That sounds like Jordan Peterson. Probably a Lannister, thank you for subscribing with a four-month streak. Um... <laughs> Uh, Goblin Lurker, thanks for following. Panda Man 1994, thanks for the two months. Two months, though, even though I'm sick as hell. I'm sorry to hear about that. I hope you a swift recovery. Oh no, Hannah, did you wear that shirt on purpose because you're a reptile? That's true. We're going to get into that today because today is something that I'm very excited about and I hope we get more of in the future because it's very fun. And that is, someone's made a conspiracy theory video about me... So that's fun. We'll discover today the truth. Hannah exposed. Is Hannah a reptile? Am I a reptilian from another planet in a human skin suit? We'll find out. Hype train. This is our opportunity to don me in my tinfoil armor. Every level of the hype train I'll put on another piece of tinfoil clothing. So let's see what we can do, shall we? Bumble Homestead, thanks for gifting a sub to Epic Reach. Uh, Sushi Bomb says, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a pretty good one. Thank you. I hope the same for all of you. Mark81, thanks for subscribing. For nine months. Okay, that's a stream, baby. Uh, I'm going to go with Ryan. Ryan Andrews. That's the name of this baby. I keep doing men's names. Why do I keep doing that? TYY with 400 bits says, Remember everybody, if we get a hype train going, she has to look ridiculous. <laughs> uh, MW1642 with 200 bits. Thank you. Bits to appease our reptilian queen. Purple Nickel with 100 bits says, I knew there was something around you, you damn lizard person. They caught me. I don't know how. I was so careful. Hylian DW, thank you for the four months. Uh, are you a reptilian? You have to tell us if you are. Uh, the Lizard Supreme Court actually said that I can lie to anyone I want, so take that, you stupid mammals. TuckerWhite94 says, Hannah, we've known from day one that you're a lizard person. This isn't news. I don't believe you. I hide it very well. I don't even use my third eyelids. <clears throat> we are at 90% uh, of level 2. I should probably get some horns going, eh? I like the hat, but the hat... I don't know. The, I, the horns turn out better, I think, than the hat. I don't know. I also wish the hat fit a little better, but... Blizzard face reveal when? It's a good question. Maybe at 10,000 Twitch followers we'll do a lizard face reveal. Bardlock Moses with 100 bits. Thank you. TYY says, but you ate that fly on stream that one time. Hey, that was between you and me, okay? No one else saw that. Shod and Frida. Kahlo, thank you for subscribing with two months. Appreciate it. 
the ultimate hype train is the lizard face reveal. If we get to 10,000% of a hype train, I will show you my lizard face. <laughs> Lady Chelsea of the Void says the video is just going to be 60% misgendering, 40% woo-woo bullshit. No, that's why I'm excited for this video. They don't misgender me once. I don't even know if they know I'm trans, which is shocking to me because I think it's obvious, but a lot of people on YouTube have said that they didn't know until I said something. He doesn't misgender me, he doesn't dead name me, he just thinks I'm a lizard person, which is hilarious. <laughs> Sad Girls Club X, thanks for the 100 bits. Yeah, that's why I like this conspiracy theory. Another person has made a video on me before, but I didn't cover it because it was just super transphobic. This isn't. This is just a fun video where they think I'm a fucking lizard. <laughs> MMO Addicted says, It's not obvious, and all of us from Patron Private Stream are lizard people. Hiss. True. Don't tell them that, though, okay? Then we're going to get mammals in there, and I can't stand mammals. They smell like wet fur, even when they're dry. Ghetto Kanya, uh, hello Hannah, Bahan, Chad, I hope you're doing well today. I hope you're doing well too. Mm -hmm. So what else do we have going on? There's of course the video about me. Jake is also in it. We have a video about the meaning of the bell, and this mentions the unfortunate, untimely passing of Saved by the Bell actor Dustin Diamond, who recently passed of uh, cancer. So I'm sure that'll be quite distasteful. CC is back, peddling flat earth nonsense. Hey, remember that guy who walked around the grocery store and rubbed his face on everything because he doesn't believe COVID exists? Of course it does exist, YouTube. I would never claim otherwise. Uh, this idiot does it again. So we're gonna watch that. We got another person who thinks space is fake and that they can prove it. This guy's. Who knows what we're going to watch from him. He's just out there. Uh, and this guy, I think, is a cult person. Cult with a Q, if you know what I mean. So we have some stuff to look at today. It'll be a good time. Where are we at on the hype train? 40% to level 3 with 2 minutes left. Bardlock Moses, I love that one Charisma Saves where the person asks who's Jake's new p new partner. <laughs> yes, I do remember that. I think my hair looks pretty good today, actually. New Monster with 20 bits, thank you. MMO Addicted to 20 bits says, His dirty mammalian warm bloods, they are only useful as warming body pillows. <laughs> Take us to your leader, we've come to make you our waifu pillows. Minute and a half left on the hype train. Oh, we got a call for an uprising video too, of course. I skipped a bits message. Sorry, let me go find it. The Marusama says. Will we do whatever Wednesday tomorrow? I actually have a video to send. Yeah, probably. Crypto Deity says, sent an email to my university today asking my name in MS Teams and Zoom to be changed from my legal dead name to my chosen name, so that's kind of scary. I, I would imagine they'll be accommodating. 46% of the level 3 hype train with only 30 seconds left. We might not do it. Uh, Bardlock Moses with 100 bits says, So are you playing Lizard Folk next campaign? No, I'm playing a tabaxi, actually. I know you're making a joke, but seriously. <laughs> uh, Mythical Snails with 20 bits. Hi, Hannah. This is my first time catching a stream, and I am desperately excited. Here's hoping I can make more. Of course. Oh, of course. Get your bingo cards ready, by the way. We didn't really talk about it. Oh, no, we're not going to do it. Only 10 seconds left. Uh, the Fluffy Oreo with bits. Thank you. And Wreath with 100 bits. Marcus Drake with 100 bits. And uh, the Fluffy Oreo. Thank you again for the bits. Oh, we only did level two. That's a shame. Wagroads13, thank you for gifting a sub. Let me get the jacket, because we did get to level two. Well, do I want to do that or do I want to do something else? Because I'll probably get hot if I wear that. 
Barthlaka Moses says cat girl it is. <laughs> uh, that's actually going to be part of the character. I'll do the gloves. Part of the character is going to be that uh, they are disgusted by how people sexualize her as like a uwu cat girl thing. And they don't like being fetishized. And that's going to be a character trait is basically hating when people do that shit. So... <laughs> MMO Addicted with 20 bits says, So I had a big exam remotely for ACCA today. A server error disconnected me when I was halfway done with it, so I have to try again in June. That sucks. That sucks. Uh, MMO Addicted says, ACCA equals Association of Chartered Certified Accountants. Gotcha. What class is the tabaxi? A uh, rogue. Uh, Neural Alchemist with 100 bits says, Yay, bits to Tay. Thank you. What shall we do first? Hmm. This is a look, isn't it? Purple shirt with short sleeves with silver gloves and horns. Oh my goodness. A black jacket would help. Sure. You die. I murder <laughs> government documents. <laughs> and I won't At least you don't have to pay the 300 exam fee again. Oh that would have sucked. <laughs> Bardlock Moses says, I want to do a Seder bard that doesn't sleep around or parties that much. Good luck. Pulled the ETR. Thanks for subscribing with the 10 month streak. Says, I'm late for the best part of the wheel. A lot of what? To do <laughs> to she Hakujin, thank you for subscribing with a three month streak. You will line up and they will rip you and your family. Pain, judgment, or DMO, destruction, disease, fire spreading. Start strong with Q. You could probably start. Oh, we make sense. I gotta clear off the bingo call sheet. How could you find a beginner group online with DMT? Um, we have a sub for our campaign called Charisma Saves that has a section for finding a group, but also places like Discord has different servers you could find where you can find a group. Roll20, which is a website for online stuff, I think has tools for finding groups. Reddit, I think, has subs for finding groups. There's all sorts of different stuff. Yeah, looking for a group is a useful search term. So if you did, like, Reddit looking for a D&D &D group or, or Discord looking for a group, you could probably find it. Okay, let's start with this guy. This guy, I think, again, is a ridiculous conspiracy theorist. I'm going to start putting disclaimers at the beginning of every section just because I want to be extra safe for YouTube. To be clear, I don't agree with any of the things this guy is about to say. This guy's about to say a bunch of untrue conspiracy nonsense, and we're here to debunk it. This individual is one of those right-wing conspiracy theorists who believes that there is a cabal of secret Satanists within the government and media. He gets this information, air quotes information, from, let's say, 8chan, or 8coon, I believe it's called now, uh, from a certain 
conspiracy figure that goes by an individual letter, let's say. A uh, bunch of ridiculous nonsense. He's been going since before the election. He had all sorts of predictions for the inauguration that, of course, didn't come true. So let's see where he's at today, some months into the Biden presidency. Secrets. Lots of things are being revealed. Lots of things are unwinding for the deep state. So as we go forward, we're going to start to see that a lot of these jokers have already been arrested, that uh, a lot of them are, believe it or not, on bases on the moon. And the reason... <laughs> okay, that's a lot in the first couple sentences. So first of all, on the bingo call sheet, of course, deep state. Click off deep, deep state on the bingo card. Um... <laughs> so, of course, despite there being no evidence that any sort of action has been taken against any members of the government... He believes that not only have they been secretly arrested and detained, but they are not being detained in the continental United States. They're not being detained in Guantanamo Bay, where I've heard some of these kind of conspiracy theorists say, oh, they're going to go to Guantanamo Bay. No, this man thinks 12 steps ahead. You're not going to send him to Guantanamo Bay. That's on Earth. They could escape if they're on Earth. You got to send the deep state to the moon. No one's escaping from the moon prison, okay? And he's right. You're not going to escape from a moon prison. Why that is, as I talked with uh, Gene Decode today, is so that when you guys see the horrific things that they were involved in, you guys don't freak out and go looking for them and drag them in the streets and go to town on them, all right? Oh, so they're in the moon prison for their own protection. It's not an, a, a worry about escape. It's that they're concerned that these satanic murderer child bad guys, let's call them child bad guys to avoid certain terms for YouTube. You think that these people need to be protected from the public by being placed on the moon. When did we build the moon prison? Is this a new moon prison or did Neil Armstrong like start setting up the moon prison and ever since they've been building it? I'm not exactly clear. So that's, that's not going to happen. We don't want that to happen. Now when let's say creeps, not child bad guys. Cause that denotes a whole different thing. Uh, mm, people who are creeps to children. We'll put it that way. We, reveal at the same time we're revealing all of the problems that they have caused throughout the world for a long time that at the same time we're revealing med beds we're revealing there's unbelievable amounts of uh, money that they have been taking from us that are going to be distributed you know? <laughs> it's so funny to me that these people are right wing right they they're fans of donald trump and they think donald trump is a good guy on the side of all this uh donald trump of course being a republican and republicans of course being very pro-capitalism and anti-socialism and everything socialist and communist is bad but i've seen so many of these conspiracy theorists be like and once this is all over they'll redistribute the wealth from these people to the community like recognizing that there's an incredible wealth disparity between the highest earners and the lowest earners in the working class, but they're doing so by defending Donald Trump and the Republican Party who don't want any of those things. They'd probably be better off just like voting for Bernie Sanders or something. But nope, here we are. You know, so all of these things uh, on the same time, I believe, as the uh, reveal happens, will keep people a little bit calmer so you're not going to be like so upset about you know all that incredibly negative stuff a lot of us have already woken up to it but there's a lot of people that are still uh consciousness captured by you know things that uh have been happening but are are not aware of them yet so when that reveal happens and this this uh this crazy stuff uh with the consciousness i believe is, is starting to uh you know hook people and uh they they wake they awaken from them waking from those problems that once you reveal that, oh, we have like, you know, uh, all, all this high tech stuff that we're revealing uh, at the same that time. That does look like someone just pointed out, is that a toilet seat in his background? 
I don't think it is. It looks like it's maybe something else. Because it looks like there's almost a handle right here. But I do wonder what the heck that thing is. People are going to be like, oh, and then they're going to look at this and go, oh. You know, so there's going to be a little bit of that going on with all of us, I believe, uh, as as the uh, the dates start to start to come up for this stuff to be revealed. Of right now, the date for these conspiracy theorists is they think March 4th. They think March 4th is going to be the day, which is two days from the time we're doing this episode. They think March 4th is going to be the day that it's all going to be revealed and Donald Trump is going to return to the presidency or at the very least something will happen that'll trigger all sorts of new information to be revealed. None of that's going to happen, just like it didn't happen on the 20th and it didn't happen on the 6th, so they freaked out and tried to do an insurrection. All that jazz. It's going to be a bad time. Why March 4th? March 4th was the original day of the inauguration before that was changed via constitutional amendment. Um, back in the day, it took much longer because the lack of modern communication systems and lack of modern transport. It took a lot longer for news to spread across the country and to figure out who had won the election and then spread the news of who won and then set up, you know, having that person move into the White House and transfer. Basically, just all the logistics of... of transferring from one administration to the other took a lot longer so the old date for uh inauguration was in march instead of january and it eventually got changed because they realized we don't need to wait as long between the election um honestly even now they could probably do an yet another change and make it even closer just because we're at a point now where <laughs> even just between november and january 20th feels like a long time at this point but yeah they think that uh because it's the original inauguration date that it'll that'll be when Donald Trump comes back. It's nonsense. Of course, there's still going to be operations uh, that are ongoing, I believe, for quite some time. But uh, we're seeing probably in the next month uh, that a lot of this stuff is going to be revealed. And uh, I know a lot of you are like, you know, you keep moving the goalpost, and uh, I'll believe it when I see it, and that's fine, you know? There's those of us that are, have been in the military and understand how to how to like uh, see uh, military actions when they're happening. Some of you that have been involved in that obviously uh, are are still like you know on the fence with it, and that's fine. Because like I said, uh, it will be revealed when it's ready. We want to win this, not reveal it too early, so that there's an incredible amount of um, friction and possible death. That's the thing, though. That flies entirely in the face of what's the premise of this conspiracy theory. The premise of this conspiracy theory is that, is that there's an anonymous poster with high-level government clearance that is posting information on what is going on behind the scenes to, like, 8chan, originally 4chan, but now 8chan and other places. Although they haven't posted in, like, four months anyway. So, if it's supposed to be a secret and that no one should know anything because we want to keep our enemy on our toes, then why does anyone know about it? The, the, the jig would already be up because someone posted it on the internet for years. It doesn't even make sense internally. That could, that could... Like, he can't be clear enough because we got to keep the enemy on our toes, but he has to be transparent enough that he posts top-secret military info to eight coon like that doesn't make any sense one or the other transform this earth from a beautiful place into like hell on earth you know so we you would want to wait a little bit longer right if that were the case uh bingo call sheet someone asked can we do 4chan 8chan considering the basis of this conspiracy i'll say yes case and i believe we're going to see that soon so let me share the screen and we'll go into um, a little bit of this. I, I think you guys are going to like uh, some of the stuff I'm sharing. Some of the guests I have on, I just had Gene Decode on. Unbelievable, probably one of the best interviews I've, I've seen him do. Uh, I just I just love being involved in this. Fact check, image does not show Tampa mayor violating Super Bowl mass mandate. So there was a video that came out that showed uh, the mayor uh, of Tampa, um, uh, saying that, uh, yeah, 
17th letter of the alphabet as a source, that'll also work. <laughs> Supposedly saying that uh, the police were going to find those people that weren't wearing masks and celebrations and stuff like that uh, after um, it was revealed long ago that, uh, you know, the uh, pirates basically were going to uh, win the Super Bowl. Uh, that was already in uh, Gamatria. And I knew who was going to win. I bet on who was going to win. I bet on who I knew was going to be the MVP uh, because I see, I can see it. This way these elites work. <laughs> who was the MVP of the most recent Super Bowl? Was it Tom Brady? If it was Tom Brady, I'm going to die. God fucking damn it. <laughs> wow. He predicted that Tom Brady would be the MVP of the Super Bowl? How would he have ever guessed that astonishing upset? Ooh. <laughs> I'm not even a sports person, and I know that's not an impressive prediction. God damn. Um, all of all the professional sports guys all over the world is basically captured by them, and they decide who's going to win, who's going to lose. And if someone doesn't want to play, then there's deaths. All right, there's uh, examples made of people, so they play along eventually. Um, and not every, every one of the players is involved in it, but there's enough of them at certain levels that they can uh, throw a game or make a game go in a certain direction and so forth. So when you know, because they, they publish ahead of time, if you know how to look for those clues of who is going to win, then you're going to do uh, really well, like I did. I made a lot of money. Um, uh, knowing who was going to win, and it happened just exactly. Is he just going to talk about the Super Bowl now? Uh, Can so you get to a different thing? I don't care about other the sports. Property doing super Bowl. Glass, uh, containers for the students put people into compilation to destroy. Stay with the truth. We don't try to manip manipulate the truth like the deep state does. We stay with the truth, and the truth eventually will prevail and show that all of this deep, deep state action, like we're going to see right here, is a bunch of total BS, total wasting taxpayer money, total manipulation to destroy small businesses, destroy lives, and put people into complete lockdown. And We're in the middle of a global pandemic, sir. We're getting towards the end of it, hopefully, with the vaccinations, but I'd rather not have children die because you don't like being inconvenienced control so let's look at this this is a teacher in myrtle beach south carolina let's see if there's a story about this myrtle beach So it's a video of a classroom. All right, Mr. Richardson, I just have a question for the school board. I'm wondering, this is my classroom. I have a rather large classroom. Compared yeah, they're trying to protect the students from spitting all over one another accidentally. Here too. This is actually like a really smart solution. I don't think schools should be opening yet, but if you're going to do it, I'm glad they're doing something like this. The other classrooms in our building. But I have 28 desks in here right now. If we go back five days a week, I'll have 30 30 or 32 with the kids coming back from virtual. Um, this is the middle seat of the back row of my classroom. This is their view of the board. Um, so I'm just wondering, when we ordered this $5 million worth of plexiglass, did we have a classroom of 28 desks set up to where school board members could sit in them and see what this was really going to be like i'm sure it's an inconvenience i would agree you should probably stay and do online teaching instead of doing this <sighs> look at all these desks that have plexiglass they spent five million 
million dollars getting these plexiglass uh, containers for the students who are going to be wearing a mask while they're in these things. And I just have a question for the school board. I'm wondering, this is my classroom. I have a rather large classroom compared to the other classrooms in our building. 30, um, this could you. So I'm just wondering, 28 to sit in them. We're trying to figure out class. It's I'm complete this is my and classroom. total a... BS. Look, I'm not saying it's the perfect solution to that problem. I think the solution would be to continue to do online learning until all the kids are vaccinated. But if they're refusing to do that, I understand why they're doing the cubicles along with the masks. It's not a terrible idea, even if it's not the best execution, considering, yeah, it probably is difficult to show stuff on the board. But then as a teacher, you need to do workarounds for that. It sucks. I'm not saying it doesn't suck. The pandemic has sucked for everyone. But being inconvenienced is not a gotcha. Yes, I agree. That's inconvenient for the teacher. It's inconvenient for the student. Diseases are inconvenient. Surprise. And it has to stop. We have to stop these idiots from doing this to us. And all it takes is just one person in charge like they did in Ohio where they lifted the mask mandate and the social distancing mandate and so forth. What's Fucking the difference between Ohio and Florida or California? There is no difference. They're the same people. They're the same people in Ohio that are in, you know, Ireland or, you know, uh, France or South Africa or anywhere else where they're doing this bullshit, right? was by all accounts a rather abysmal start for president trump's legal team wednesday turned out to be the day that the marcus Democrats from left flank vets is in the chat absolutely Hello. and utterly implode take for example the analysis of harvard law professor alan dershowitz according to dershowitz the democrats played right into president trump's hands they're playing right into the hands of the argument that Trump is going to be making about the First Amendment. Everything that the Democrats are arguing, literally everything, according to Dershowitz, supports the First Amendment argument that Trump's legal team is making. So there's nothing the Democrats presented that's not objectively protected by the First Amendment. So when it comes to just the pure uh, merits of this case... I can't necessarily agree with you there. Like, the First Amendment covers a lot of things, but fire in a crowded theater is an exception and i would argue what he did on the sixth falls under that the democrat out is he going to get to more shit or is it just going to be this he as a witness sir let's look at uh, another thing ben almost said bin laden biden like uh and have harley point where which which one of these plans you want to be on you want to be on this 3d um you know uh mm -hmm. Uh, deep state world or do you want to be on a four or 5d uh, planet place in 5d planet i believe you guys want to go to right what does a 5d planet look like is it like universal studios shrek 4d where i go in and i can smell the ogre farts because they spray a thing in my face because i want to go to that planet please <laughs> i'll put on my 3d glasses and wait for all the special fx Gene, Decode, always a pleasure talking with you. Uh, thank you. Uh, I don't think that joke makes a lot of sense if you haven't been to Universal Studios. So I try and narrow my jokes down until only one person laughs at them, and usually that one person is me. So. Thank you so much for sharing information, helping to uh, raise the consciousness of, of humanity, to keep people sane during this uh, this crazy time. I think over the next uh, you know couple months or so, it's going to be still pretty crazy. Even though hopefully around the 5th or so of March, we'll see, uh, 4th or 5th, we'll see something uh, start to move in a more positive way. Spoilers, nothing's going to happen. But it's like we know, it's it's a war, it's a battle. We're here to win. It doesn't matter, goalpost, uh, human consciousness, who, who, who wants to be uh, positive about this, who wants to be negative about this, we're here to win. It's not about being positive or negative. It's about being in line with reality. And right now you are very out of line with reality. You think a cabal of Satanist 
child assailants are running the government. And they're not. They're not. That is not a problem that we face in this country. We have so many other real problems. Please stop making up fake ones to obsess and make YouTube videos over. It's so frustrating. So uh, that's that's what we do going forward. Absolutely. And then if you uh, give me a share a minute, I'll show you a picture I took because I'm at 5D and 3D and 4D simultaneously. Where does the goalpost move when nothing happens on the 4th? I'm going to call July 4th. I think it'll be July 4th. Who knows, though? I can share a picture my wife took uh, when we climbed up to the top of a volcano in Bali in which both suns are up. We had a double sunrise. Oh, he believes All that right, there are two suns? Go. Beautiful. So here is the 3D sun. Uh, I mean, the 5D sun, and here's the 3D sun, so you can see their shadows are long because- Oh no! He thinks it's Tatooine. Ooh! They're looking out at this guy coming up, 3D sun. We already had sunrise, and <laughs> this is our sun, 45D. So just a little tidbit there for you. If he thinks all you have to do to see our, the, the air quote, second sun, is to go up on a mountain and look, why does he think no one else has discovered that there are two suns? That wouldn't be hard to figure out. <laughs> that wow. was just taken by my wife's iPhone. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thanks, thanks for sharing that. And, and so there you go, guys. It's uh, it's happening. So these these uh, levels of consciousness are uh, are definitely happening. Uh, in the meantime, we have uh, the little manipulations like we have from the CCP, which is also having uh, their dumbs taken down. They're controlling film studios, demoralizing Americans through internal conflict, spreading propaganda through state owned media. Uh, they basically own the Democrats completely and a lot of the Republicans, too, actually. So that's why both those parties go bye bye soon. Infiltrating American campuses. Uh, covering up an outbreak and causing a global crisis, uh, acquiring U.S. technology by any means necessary, influencing U.S. media outlets, on and on and on, stealing trade secrets and Americans' personal data. Uh, we've seen all of this stuff. So as we go forward, we're going to see a lot of this stuff cleaned up. And that's absolutely, you know, what we want to see and what we want to have happen. So let me uh, share my uh, my uh, my stuff real quick. Uh, there's Hello. Uh, in the drop down box where you see show more. Uh, there's a, a 5D uh, event that I'm doing uh, in quantum 5D event in Las Vegas. This I is still don't know what March they mean by 5D. And, uh, through the 21st. Uh, if you go in that drop down box, you can come in here and see all the information on there, see hotel information, uh, all of the speakers. Of course, you see yours truly right there, Michael Jaco at the top. Yeah, so I'm in every one of the um, uh, speaker events uh, as far as like when they have, you know, kind of like a round table and uh, there's five of those. I'll be at all of those. It's going to be a, basically a, a dinner party uh, and other get together. Great hotel. Space sign. I wonder if they got a really good deal on the hotel because no one else is holding a conference right now because other people recognize the danger of the global pandemic that's already killed half a million people in the United States and permanently <laughs> disabled many more due to the vicious nature of the respiratory problems that happens due to COVID. Either way, that's Michael K. Jackow for now, or Jayco, I don't know how he pronounces it. We'll keep up. I'm curious what he's going to do after the next couple days when nothing happens. Because he's expecting, like a lot of these people are, that something's going to happen March 4th or March 5th. What's he going to do when nothing happens? I guess we'll see. Bits messages. Uh, Holt ETR, thanks for the 20 bits. Pyromancer56 says, can't wait for the video teased on Sunday. Yep, we're going to do that one next, I think. Cameron XX, thanks for following. TYY with 20 bits. The Reptilians build it with Hot Pockets. Mike Max 321 with 20 bits says, 
Here a robot chicken. Here is a robot chicken reptilian video. CMMC 10150. Thanks for resubscribing. Says thanks for making me laugh on bad days. Thanks for coming to watch me. Um, X flowers for brains. Thanks for subscribing with Prime. Pyromancer with 30 bits. Didn't Don Jr. feed into that saying something was coming Thursday at CPAC? I didn't notice. I actually watched his speech on Chudwatch the other day, but I don't remember that specifically. Daddy Sume with 20 bits. Sup all. Sorry I'm late. I didn't get the notification for some reason. Pyromancer56 says conspiracist and doesn't have an ad block. What? <laughs> Daddy Sume says, wait, pirates win the Super Bowl? That's the wrong sport. Rome Demon Triple X. Thanks for hosting. TYY with 20 bits. I don't disagree with the teacher as long as her solution isn't nothing. It's want of something better. Sure. Lily Love Stuff with 20 bits says, look, Ohio proving their trash again. Congrats, Michigan, on being better than that trash state. Tucker White says, so where does the goalpost move next? Uh, like I said, I think, um, oh God, why can't I think of the, uh, July 4th. Who knows though? Purple Nickel says, Hannah, WTF, I zoned out for two minutes and we're talking about two sons now? Get, get on our level, okay? Come on, stay on board. Pyromancer56 says, just noticed he's using Zoom. Seems like he doesn't mind the government watching his computer. <laughs> um, Pyromancer says, it's just, it's just to get together to play 5D chess with the multiverse time travel. Let's check out the bingo card and then we'll move on to the conspiracy theory about me. Uh, we have Anonymous, 4chan, 8chan as a source, Deep State, QAnon is used as a source, and I think that's it. Hmm. I'm just trying to look through to see. I think that's probably it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Probably not how cameras work because of the... Doesn't understand how cameras work because of the glare thing. When did I mention those, Tucker White? Someone else said the same thing. When did I mention those things? Your bit message? Me reading your bit message does not count. I've ex I've expressly said that before. You people never listen to the rules. <laughs> fake son? No, he doesn't think the son is fake. He thinks there's two sons, which is the opposite of thinking the son is fake. He thinks there's two of them. All right, let's watch this guy. This is a conspiracy theory. I've been waiting for this, and I'm glad someone finally did it. Someone made a conspiracy theory about me. I appreciate it. So let's take a look at this conspiracy theory and discover, am I a secret Australian reptile person? I can't wait to find out. I'm on the edge of my seat. Character pictured on screen. Goes by the name of Hannah Reloaded. She's a YouTuber uh, with about 10,000 subs on this channel. I'll have you know I'm up to 11,000 now. And she runs another channel uh, with a character named Jake. And I think they've got at least 100,000 subs on that channel. Hey, 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 we have 150-something, and it's going down all the time. Credit where credit is due. Now, I'll show you the role that Hannah Reloaded plays in Australia. Apparently, this is me. I guess when I'm not doing this for a living, I pop over to Australia in my lizard space car and I become this woman. So that's nice. 
it's this character here. All right, Sam. What do you guys think? Hmm? Pretty close. I need the glasses, but... <laughs> this video legitimately makes me wonder if this guy has face blindness. Just wondering. Van Zweden. Put glasses on? I don't think I have any glasses that look like that. I can do one of the Bones glasses, I guess, but it's not quite right. I'll try I'll try some different pairs and you guys can decide. The shirt is that that's correct. I, I wore this shirt intentionally, I'm not going to lie. Here here's these glasses. Here's these ones. about these ones <laughs> where did my cheeks go <laughs> I could also do uh, if we want to go cyberpunk I can do some cyberpunk glasses I don't know seems sus to me who has written a book titled Eating With My- For the record, I did message this woman because I thought that was this was funny. And I sent her this video in a Twitter DM. And I basically just said, I guess we're the same person. And she got a kick out of it. And that was fun. <laughs> mouth open now. You'll notice that she's wearing a purple top there. And you come across to Hannah's channel and you'll notice the purple- symbolism here as well obviously for it's definitely purple symbolism and not just that i like the color purple it's not that my favorite color's purple and most of the clothes i own are in one way or another purple it's got to be that it's symbolism right hold on what about now Oh, God. <laughs> Is that better? This is not blue. This is purple. It might read on camera as blue, but I swear this is purple. Anyway. What? Your reptilian royal purple. Now, there seems to be a link. I like that it's specifically reptilian royal purple and not just royal purple. Because purple's been like a royal color on Earth in like, a, in like human culture for a long time. But this is specifically reptilian purple, okay? I'll have you know. If I were reptilian royalty, you'd think I'd want green or something to be thematically relevant. But I guess we're going purple and I respect that. If honestly... If Reptilian's favorite color is purple, maybe they should take over. I respect that choice. Between American... Have you guys ever heard me try and do an Australian accent? There's a character in my D&D &D game named Stan Irving, who's a Steve Irwin stand-in, that I have to do an Australian accent for, and it is painful! It's so painful, I had to write in a plot point that their their speech function is broken, and that's why they sound so bad. Oh, they're a hologram also, sort of like the Doctor from Star Trek Voyager. That's an important thing to explain, the voice malfunction thing. <laughs> hey, mate! Put some shrimp on the babby! I would do very badly if I had to pretend to be Australian. <laughs> and... Australian uh, reptilians, so they play dual roles across multiple countries. All right, now, 
if you take a look at Hannah's Twitter page, you'll notice references to demons. All right, so she retweets Demon Mama. <laughs> Hold on, give me one sec. Let's go look through my Twitter page and we'll see what references to demons there are other than retweeting Demon Mama that one time. There shouldn't be anything TOS on my <laughs> on my page. So, here's my Twitter. Uh, it's not bad. 19.6 thousand followers. I'll take it. Lots of posting, of course, about my streams. I always post on there when I'm going to stream. Here's me being snarky to Bryson Gray, who you might know from our Chudwatch streams. Here's me taking some screenshots from a website about conspiracy theories and highlighting them. That's me retweeting something about, again, a conspiracy theory thing. No mention of demons there. This is a gif of Jeff Goldblum, who is a very attractive man. There's a gif of The Office, because I'm excited Neil Breen is making a new movie. No demons yet. Uh, here's this guy, who is out there. We have... Yeah, none of this is references to demons. Like, I think the only time I've ever referenced demons is when I retweeted Demon Mama. And that's not even really a reference. It's just, like, her name on Twitch. There's me retweeting about uh, the Justice League director's cut because I think it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's that's about it. <laughs> yeah, nope. Not chock full of demons, unfortunately. And obviously that's a demonic character there. Now, this is another character that she runs a channel with. And he goes by the name of Actual Jake. And as you can see, you've got the horns in the head there. You've got your purple coating once again. Uh-oh! The corn demon means he's a lizard person. Yeah. And that's no accident. If you press play on one of his videos, as you can see, you get the serpent symbolism. Now, we'll just... Fast forward it here. You know what's weirdest to me about this video? Not once does this guy mention the fact that Jake is wearing a corn outfit. I sent it to Jake earlier today, yes. <laughs> if you're really depressed. Guys, he's not joking. This is his third channel because he keeps getting banned. And he does videos like this about tons of people. He has a whole video, about, he has a video about Belle Delphine that I watched in the patron-only stream the other day. Donate to my Patreon if you want to be able to get into those streams. Um, also did a video and on Alien. who we watch sometimes here on Tinfoil Tuesday, whose name escapes me. Um, Elizabeth something maybe? Either way, Galactic Federation lady, he thinks is also like a demon or reptile person. <laughs> Elizabeth April, that's her name. Thank you. All right, take a good look at that character there. It's about to get so much better, guys. You have no idea. All right, because he plays the role of this character here. <laughs> So if you're on this channel, maybe not, but I think most of you probably know about actual Jake, good friend of mine. We've been 
doing a YouTube show together for almost a decade now. According to this guy, this guy here on the right in the newsboy cap is Jake. Now, <laughs> this is why I think he has face blindness. Because this guy does not look like Jake at all. They're both a little bit larger guys with beards. And that's about it. They don't really look like each other. Alright, we'll go back and forth. As you can see, it's the same character. And there he is there again. <laughs> I'm the alias of Simon Lane. Now, you'll notice this character here. Alright, she's uh, British. She goes by the name of Hannah Rutherford. And as you can see, she's got the devil horns up there. Now, I'll just show you something here quickly. So Hannah Reloaded claims that she's a leftist streamer. She's playing the role of this author here in Australia who won this award here as a feminist. Alright, so she's a lefty as well. Now, just listen to the accent here. This I, he's not clear on. Does he think I am also this other woman named Hannah who I apps? The other woman I can kind of see a little bit. I don't really think we look that much alike, but I can see a little bit of a resemblance if there's a face blindness thing going on. I look nothing like this woman at all. Our, our, our body types aren't even close to the same. It's just that we both have the name Hannah. I'm so confused. On this character... It is that time of year again. It's Advent. Alright. Now, we'll have a quick read here. Says she chose the username Lamadia because it means grace in Elvish. All right, now let's just take a look at her avatar, or Hannah Reloaded's avatar, and as you can see, it's an elvish-looking character. That's my D&D &D character, the Professor, who is an elf, but hasn't always been an elf. They've also been a tiefling and a human, because... They're sort of a time lord and regenerate. Elves aren't real. Do I need to say that? Do I need to say that out loud? Demons aren't real. Elves aren't real. Yogg's cast is probably real. <laughs> Alright, so... Hannah Reloaded... Runs the channel with this guy. He plays the role of this guy. Uh, it's the same person. Uh, it's no coincidence that you get your purple symbolism. It's not symbolism. I like the color purple. I like the color purple! I've shown you in other videos that these characters can play multiple roles across multiple countries and they can also change their voices up. I don't know anything about Yogg's cast, but someone in the chat said they'd get a kick out of it. I'll give you a link. If you want to send it to any of the people from that, great. <laughs> There's a link in the chat. And, uh, 
Yeah, look, I think we've uh, pretty much exposed these guys here. And like I said, it's no... That's true. I've been very exposed. I haven't been this exposed since the butter nips video. <laughs> Accident that this character here has the horns. Alright, and his video starts up. With your reptilian tongue. And we can clearly see that he's this character here who's connected with this British YouTuber. Anyway, that's uh, it for this one. Oh, weak end. That is a weak ending to your conspiracy video. Character. Okay, so I'm going to talk directly to Aaron Haywood right now because I'm, I'm kind of hoping to... to <laughs> I'm hoping Aaron sees this. Um... <laughs> um... Aaron. Listen. Friend. Uh, I'm not a reptilian. Reptilians don't exist. Demons don't exist. And you might have face blindness, so you should probably get that checked out by a doctor. The horns, not demonic. They're just fun. Uh, I don't know. This is a fun video. Make more about me if you want, please. Uh, or don't. I don't really care. But this was entertaining, and I appreciate it. So thanks. Good luck, Aaron. Please get a grip. <laughs> I should comment on the vid and tell him he's right. The reptiles are coming. Car That's a little bit funny. Oh, the comments are turned off. Damn it. <laughs> what a shame. Are they turned off on all of his videos? No. Why is it just on mine? Character. Coward. <laughs> yeah, it's just my video that the comments are turned off on. Lame. What's his other channels like? This is 2.0 channel. He still posts this. He has like multiple concurrent channels. Very weird. Aaron 5.0. He has no videos on there yet. What about 4.0? He's got videos on there that he's posting to regularly. Weird. Oh, this is him exposing the Galactic Federation. All right, now. When you get to a certain level of knowledge, especially if you're involved in watching real truthers on YouTube, not these uh, characters here that are put on in order to deceive you, you'll know that space is fake. They can't give us a real photo of space. Now, they've had that Israeli... Oh, no. Uh, is he a flat earther, too? Space. Spice is fake, whatever mate. Come out. You believe Recently. in spice, you fool? <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Spice is fake! Yeah, we did just go into space again. <laughs> that just sounds now. <laughs> I need to stop trying accents. It's not a good time for anyone. You think that's a knife?
This is a knife. I lost it. I lost it. <laughs> That's no knife. This is a knife. Let's look at the bingo card and then we'll do bits messages and then we'll move on. Is there anything else? Reptilians, reptoids. Because of me. Because of course I am one. Surprise. Uh, mm, when we say satanic, be he did say Jake's tongue was satanic or demonic or something, so I'll consider that Satanism. Spurious symbology. Yeah. Whoops. Move to the background. I think that's it. Okay. What do we got next? This one's just going to be frustrating. So you guys know Nathan Thompson. I really should learn his friend's name since we're covering his friends so often now. But Nathan Thompson is a flat earther. Uh, he has a new channel, new-ish, where both him and his other flat earth friends make videos. This is the most recent video by one of his friends. You'll remember this guy as the individual that went around Walmart and rubbed his hand on everything and rubbed it on his face because he's intentionally trying to catch, you know what, the big one nine. He's trying to catch the thing that all of us are trying not to catch. And he's at it again. So let's see how it goes this time. All right, since we have a new president, and I heard we have a new boogeyman, he's even stronger than the first one. And you know I had no luck finding the first one. So let's go try to find this new one that's super strong, that has mutated. Let's see if we can find this one. This one should be a little easier to find, right? Alright. Here we go. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America to the cloak for which stands one nation under God and invisible liberty and justice for all. Let's rock and roll. Doors. Well, they're automatic. This is absolutely insufferable. I can't believe he hasn't been kicked out of the store for this shit yet. Uh, what a fabulous day. Ah. So yummy. Yeah, he doesn't even understand that surface to surface uh, contact could be like a transmission vector, but you're much more likely going to catch it from like someone else speaking at you and them getting particles at you, air flow, what, what do they call it? Transmission via like air and respiration and stuff. Surface to surface transmission is not the primary vector that you're going to catch it. So he's like just being a jackass. And yes, potentially endangering himself as, and others, but he also just looks like a dipshit, too. Airborne, thank you. Why couldn't I think of that word? Hmm. It is a challenge looking for something you can't see. Keep touching everything. You should eventually find it. At least in theory. Da -da -da. Honestly, I want so bad for a hospital to... Uh, they can't because do no harm. But I would love for a hospital to be like, Come on in. You want to prove COVID isn't real? We got some patients right here. We'll let them cough in your mouth. If you're so confident it's not real, come into the hospital... We will have them cough in your mouth 
and let's see if you'll come and do it. <laughs> I would love to see that. Someone asked for a link. There it is. Uh, he literally goes on like this for 12 minutes. I'm not going to have us watch the whole thing. I do want to get to other stuff from this channel. But just so you know. Why they wouldn't get sick. He goes around absolutely the whole store and does this. It's disgusting. Even if we weren't in the middle of a global pandemic, seeing like a gross middle-aged man rubbing his beard and then rubbing everything in the store is just gross. That's just gross in general. <laughs> but yeah, I won't subject you to the whole 12 minutes. Just know it's disgusting. Here they are going around a store and I think trying to teach people, <laughs> teach, trying to spread their ideas about the shape of the earth. Seven o'clock. Well, went to work today about nine, well, seven o'clock, got off about 9.40 because of Yuvia. So I guess y'all has a better plan for me today. So you ain't going to be build, building today. You're going to be building on people's character. I'll do bits after this. I'm sorry, I forgot. People's mind. Educating the peoples. The masses. So, what can we do on... What do you do on a boring day when you're on flat earth? There is no boring day. You just go out and flat smack. And my man, you got open mind. What's the free reading information? 10 proofs you can do, 10 the Bible backs up. All right, brother, take it easy. Hello, Logarth. There you go, my man. Check out when you got some free time. Why is a flat earth more exciting than a round one? Because it lets him feel special that he's one of the few individuals that know the secret about the shape of the earth instead of what he really is, which is probably a below average individual that's done nothing with his life and feels like he's just a nobody in a sea of billions of other people. Excuse me, sir. You got some free reading time. Here's some free reading information for you. Ten proofs you can do. Ten the Bible backs up. All right, all right, all right. brother. Yep, is just gotta have open mind. To talk to any of these people, or is this literally just a video of him handing out pamphlets? He's so much worse at this than Nathan. Ten, ten bubble. Why does Walmart keep letting him in when he doesn't wear a mask? Is Kick him has to be closed hammocks. System of a high pressure system that will blow your Bible backs up. Um, because when you learn the world first thing is a that will blow your mind is a, a low pressure system, a high pressure system has to have a container. It's the second law of thermodynamics. Now, if that's the case, NASA even showed diagrams of a case, it has to be closed in a system because gases go up. Okay, the atmosphere, the gases that surround the earth are held to it by gravity. It doesn't require a container because it is being contained by the force of gravity. So if there's no container, what stops the gases from going into the- It's the same force that allows like gas giants in our solar system and elsewhere to form even though they're again, gas giants. Infinity of vacuum of space. Just think about it. And remember, water always levels flat. How can it curve around the Earth? Because it's being pulled towards the center of the Earth and it's a ball?
That's how. Water conforms to the container in which it's put, right? When I pour water into this container, although right now it's empty and it had uh, Coke Zero in it, when it's in this container, it, it, it curves with the glass, right? In this case, it's a physical barrier causing it to curve. In the case of the Earth, it's being pulled towards the center of the Earth and it is residing on a very large oblate spheroid. So over long periods, or not long periods, over long distances, there's a slight curve. And that curve, in the long run, results in the oblate spheroid we see as the Earth that we live on. God, he's so much worse at this than Nathan. He didn't even put music here. Uh, the Bible backs up, uh, well, and he here's the biggest kicker. They say the Earth is covered with 73% water, right? Uh, now, when you go to the ocean, what do they call that? They call it the sea level. Mm -hmm. Why do they do that? Because it's level. No, there is a difference. Do these people not know what... Okay. Homonyms are a thing. Um, <laughs> there are different meanings for the word level. Level can mean level in the sense that, like, my phone, the screen is level, more or less, at least to my naked eye. It's It's flat level but level can also mean an elevation or or a a distinct level from a different level like you could have levels in your house right this is the ground level in my house and i have a basement and i have an attic right these are different levels sea level is called sea level First of all, because it is a horizon and it appears flat, but that doesn't make it flat just because you can't perceive the curve because we can only see so much in our eye line. But it means the sea, more or less. There is actually a slight difference in like the United States. If you were to measure the sea level at the Pacific and the Atlantic, it is actually slightly different. But sea level is the level by which we compare uh, uh, altitude, right? When you're comparing the altitude of like a mountain or, or any place, you're comparing it to sea level. Sea level is the zero on the graph of, of elevation. It's a level, not it is level. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's straight level. So how can the bodies of water start to curve? At what point does the water start to curve? It curves all the time, but... It's so slight and gradual, you cannot see it with your naked eye, but it's curving at absolutely every point. It can't be done. It's impossible. Check it out when you got some time. Oh, okay. Gotta have over mind. Appreciate it. Huh? Can we go on the website? Pull this up? Yeah, yeah, there's all... There's, we're blowing up. It's It's been out there on the internet for... Let's see how Flat Earth is doing. Google Trends is a way to sort of look how the proliferation of different search terms goes up and down over time. So you can search a term and see how popular that search term is. Let's go from 2004. That'll help. So this gives us a pretty clear picture, and I'm pretty happy about this. This has been commented on by other people who cover Flat Earth stuff. But uh, Flat Earth, of course, wasn't something that came up very often. You know, between the earliest time we had data on this, 2004. But then all of a sudden, around 2015 or so, we started to see spikes in interest in, in Flat Earth for one reason or another. Um, Mark Sargent's Flat Earth Clues was a big part of this in conjunction with YouTube's algorithm and the way it works in drawing people into more and more extreme positions ended up creating this surge in Flat Earth interest and in Flat Earth channels. This, of course, peaked in around, when was this, 2017? 2017, 2018 was sort of the peak of Flat Earth interest and ever since then it's been trending downward back to its initial level. So today... Um, from a scale of 1 to 100, the interest is 24, whereas years before it was at a 10, 
sitting around there. Between 4 and 10 is where it idled. And right now we're at 24. So it's still over double what it was initially before the craze of like YouTube Flat Earthers became a thing. But it's trending way down from its height in 2017, 2018. So when he says, we're blowing up, not really. It's actually going badly for you people, which is why Nathan Thompson's channel got deleted, because now places like YouTube and Facebook are being more proactive about nipping conspiracy theories in the bud, because we see the destructive results that can happen from magical conspiratorial thinking, like on January 6th. 6th, rather. Sorry. So anyway, that's the state of Flat Earth as it exists on the internet today. A dying fad. For about okay. six years, but we are getting censored or they're deleting videos and everything. Yeah. And you got to watch out for false um, information. Like mm -hmm. the government will put fake websites out there to kind of throw you off to make it look silly. <laughs> like yeah. the number one thing they'll say is you got gravity because the, pl the plane is shooting up in the air <laughs> and that's what's pushing us down. But <laughs> that's a specific flat earth group that believes that. A lot of flat earthers don't believe in gravity. Um, so one specific group, I don't remember which one it is. Uh, their conjecture is that the flat plane of earth is let's pretend this is let's pretend this is the earth the fake flat earth uh their conjecture that instead of gravity causing things to be pulled towards the center of the earth the earth is constantly accelerating upwards at terminal velocity <laughs> and that's what's causing us to stick to the earth because we're actually moving upward or the earth is which is pushing us down to the surface because you know equal opposite reactions and all that <laughs> we're saying the earth is sta oh someone has bingo coolio hold on overprotected atheist has bingo did overprotected atheist already post their bingo card if not can i see the bingo card <sighs> stationary but we're yep yeah, we're saying it's stationary and flat they did this the one that's not how science works the deep state uh reptilians reptoids wait did we do that's not how science works spurious symbology is evidence anonymous 4chan just noticed my hands uh, let me see what my. I didn't have that's not how science works. Where are you getting that from? I'm willing to listen to the argument if I missed something. But it has to be like a specific thing. This video. Hmm. Fine, I'll count it. Uh Okay, I'll write your name down. Yeah, the second law of thermodynamics being wrong in here. Sure. And the COVID thing. Yeah, it's it's a pretty broad bingo spot, but I just like to have specifics. I'm not disagreeing. I just like to hear if I didn't have one myself. I'm curious what people's thoughts are. So that's our bingo winner for the day. We can, of course, continue to play for fun. Sorry about that. Because you do star trails and see the Polaris star oh, yeah. is always there. It's never, if we're really shooting through the universe, like mm -hmm. they say, 32 times rifle speed, we would never see the same constellations. Yes, we do. We are all, <clears throat> excuse me. First of all, it takes a very long time for our solar system to traverse around the galactic center. We're moving very slow relative to the size of the galaxy. Second of all, we are on a spiral arm that is moving around a central point that is the galactic center. 
Everything else is also moving around that central point. Things do move. They just move very slowly relative to their distance and size from each other. It's every year, every day. Oh, yeah. I'm still on the bingo screen. Apologies. Oh, it's oh, awesome. Because yeah, yep. right. they're lying. To buy, they're holding back God yeah. is what they're doing. And you're they're right. tricking yeah. us in if school, like teaching that, us all this stuff. That, we'll Every single yeah. night you'd see a different paradox, yeah. everything. Right. Hey, thank you, brother. Right. You got an open mind. There you go. You're on your way. I'd put it this way. Here's a good metaphor. Uh, if we're on a merry-go-round together, the merry-go-round is spinning around at some speed. But if I'm on a horse and you're on a horse, our distance, because we're all part of the same apparatus that's moving at the same speed together, you and I, our distance is not changing at all from each other. Our relative distance will remain consistent. Whereas we're both moving we're moving relative to outside factors or around a central point that we are rotating around. But our distance from each other remains the same. These people, I think, have issue dealing with relative motion and how that looks in our galaxy and with planetary bodies. Just a guess. It's one of the many problems they have with analyzing this kind of thing. Keep this one L when you get a chance. Free time. Just gotta have an open mind. All right, brother. Hey, hey. Near a tandem with Drew? What does that mean? When you watch, you say we got NASA, but when you start seeing all the bloopers hanging from wires and bubbles in space, it gotta keep open mind. It could be tricks. All right, y'all, take it easy. When you're bored, um, 10 proofs you can do and 10 the Bible backs up. Okay, thank you. And remember, we catch NASA with a lot of bloopers, so they could be faking it. In fact, we know they are, but all right, thank you. This reminds me a little bit of, like, Christine Chandler back in the day when she was on her love quest and she would walk around the mall and, like, throw paper hearts at people. <laughs> oh, it was Biden's nominee for Treasury. Gotcha. Hey, you want to check some stuff out? This will blow your mind when you got some free reading time. Ten hey, kids, want to learn about Flat Earth? Proof you could do? No? Okay. All right, thank you. Boom. They were scared. <laughs> they were all germed up. Germed up. Geared up for the germ up. She was an active and aggressive attacker of Sanders. Gotcha. Hey, you like some free written information, darling? You can check out when you're bored. Ten proofs and ten of the love. Ten proofs you could do. He's ten at the, the Bible goddamn backs, subway. Yeah. Okay. Um, honey mustard and some Southwest sauce for the dressing. In fact, how many y'all got back here? I'll give y'all a couple. I hate when they do it to, like, a captive audience when it's a worker or something. And they have no other choice. That's always a pain. <laughs> What is he doing? Is he just shooting arrows in his backyard? At least he doesn't have like a neighbor behind him right there that he could hit. That's good. I hope he doesn't have neighbors through those trees somewhere. <laughs> oh god. He was gonna... Don't draw... Okay, make sure the kid's behind you before you draw your arrow, please. Oh god, what do you... What do you do? Does he think he's Hawkeye? What is he doing? <laughs> Does he think he's going to be in a combat situation and he's going to need to quickly... That's not... That's not going to happen. <laughs> Ugh. Very strange. There's Nathan. What's it? T-Mish? Go follow him on YouTube. The most interesting man on. Why is the quality on this so trash? That's so good. Streamed it without Wi Fi, maybe.
and the property of fluid statics, it's large bodies of water. Let's go, let's move it. We'll keep it pushing. Let's go, please share the video. Uh, we're going to be sharing Flat Earth here for a minute. You guys know this guy? What he's up, on bro? a weak strike, so if you're wondering where he is, he's right here with me. I need okay, to I'm done with Nathan and pals for the day. I just find it interesting to check in every once in a while. They're still on the nonsense train, so good luck with that. Bits messages. Pyromancer, it's just a get-together to play 5D chess with multiversal time travel. Shady Shroomy with 40 bits. Oh, this person has a terrible mic. They must be serious. Bardlock Moses with 50 bits says, Thanks to my local soccer team, most of my clothes are purple. Pyromancer56 says, Hannah is gaslighting us. It's basically the only thing I'm good at. Look at this dog and cat with 100 bits says, Oh God, I have a recurring nightmare where I meet a new person but speak to them in a fake accent. Then I have to keep faking it because it's weird now. <laughs> Mr. Brick Plays, thanks for following. Pappy Hal, thanks for the 100 bits says, I didn't know Jake was in the Yogs cast. Shady Shroomy with 50 bits. Only one lefty. It's like Highlander, lol. Mythical Snails. Don't you know only one person is allowed to have the same name? Every Hannah is Hannah. Long live Hannah. Purple Nickel, thanks for the bits. I'm so confused as to what his point is. He's done nothing but say, look at this person. Now look at this person. Hey, that's grade A conspiracy, okay? That's the bedrock of all conspiracy theories is look at this thing. Now look at this other thing. The Yogg's cast game isn't real. I don't know what that means. Fruity Pug, thanks for following. Mythical Snails, thanks for 20 bits. Says he knew you'd be coming for him. MMO Addicted with 20 bits. Sorry, is he saying space or spice? Because the spice must flow. Mike Max 321 with 20 bits. Don't forget the video link I sent. Probably save it for last if you must. Uh, I don't remember which one that was. Hold to ETR with 20 bits. Yeah, but then these idiots would infect literally dozens of people. Rublum with 95 bits says, again, as someone who still dealing with the after effects of COVID and after losing a parent to COVID, these people are Trump voice, the hugest douchebags, the biggest losers, even bigger than Ted Cruz's gross wife. The Unchained M, thanks for following. Logarth, nine months, says it's time to name my stream baby something furry. Oh God, what do furry names sound like? I don't know furry names. Uh, Alucard Hightail. Is that a furry name? It sounds like a furry name to me. <laughs> mm. uh, Dingo Subman with 20 bits says, His voice sounds like the one chud who complains about his wife stealing his coom. <laughs> Tucker White says, I doubt anyone who works at Walmart gets paid enough to bother throwing this guy the F out. <laughs> uh, Mitchell Drummer, brony time. Pyromancer with 20 bits. I bet more people search Flat Earth to view videos like this than people who believe it. Probably. Bardlock Moses says, Yogg's cast didn't make a video game that was crowdfunded. Gotcha. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Alucard Hightail. Oh, good God. <laughs> Why did I do that? I don't know who to cover next. What was this one? Oh yeah, these are long videos though. Is that your Tabaxi's name? No. <laughs> Mike Max with a link. Oh. Yeah, love. Yeah, I don't want to play a full robot chicken thing. That's iffy.
copyright wise. I don't think that's a good idea. CC or uprising, please. Let's do CC. So CC, our favorite depressing uh, Gen X flat earther, once again back in his car. This video is entitled Plausible Possibility Beyond Flat Earth Aging? Not quite sure what this is going to be about, but we can check it out. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's February 27th, uh, 2021. And there's a couple things. It's unbelievable. You know, on the highways now, what I've noticed, a large increase of the smell of marijuana. It reeks. <laughs> I mean, don't people realize that if you're in front of me and you're smoking a joint, and that's your choice, I don't care, enjoy yourself. No, no, you should not smoke weed and drive. Don't smoke weed and drive. Don't ruin weed for everyone else by giving it a bad name, by driving while intoxicated. Come on, people. If you feel the need to go and get, and I've heard some people be like, well, I like going around and driving around nature. If you like that when you're high that much, then get a sober driver, you, you eat an edible or something before you leave the house, and then you have them drive you around. Do not drive while well, high. But I could smell it right behind you, so if I was a cop, I would flip up my lights and pull you over. Don't they even bother hiding it anymore? Anyway. Um, a couple quick things I want to bring up to you. I was unable to do a uh, Think About It Friday, uh, but sorry about that. I was a bit busy. And unfortunately, the only day that I really got to shoot the moon was on Thursday. And that was the only clear day we had. Out of, I'm going to get into the global warming shit with you, too. Global warming. I love that. Isn't that great? Um, I'll get into that in a minute. It's not great. But, um, it's going to kill a lot of people and has already killed many animals but i mean it's just been cloudy it's been snowing it's the worst winter we've ever had in the last five years but uh, okay let me, let, me, let me get into yes that's a part of climate change global warming well over time creates an increase in average global temperatures is also called climate change because it creates extreme weather events that swing both directions Wait, all right let me dive right in and, and just talk to you about the plausible possibility of beyond flat earth Aging. Aging is very interesting to me. Okay? Um, and if you were a computer programmer, how would you program your computer to age a character in there? You give them lines, you know, maybe a cane, getting fatter. You know, I mean, this is all part of aging. And then he was wearing glasses to show that time had gone by. John Mulaney. But is, is that the only thing that could be thought up of in aging? You know, what... Those what are stereotypical markers of aging because those are very visible indicators. But they're not the only ones. What happens if you never age? And you're here because you want to know about how aging is. You want to know about love. You want to know about hate. You want to know about corruption. You want to know about everything. And this is where you find out about it, right here. Anyway, okay, look, back to the digital world. What? Now, humans. Is he about to go on about okay. lizard people or something, too? We age. We're always looking for this fountain of youth, you know, and, and nobody can ever find it. Nobody can ever get it. Everybody always says there's something out there, some lotion, some... Something that, that could that could prevent you from aging, and it's inevitable. You are going to age. That's just how it is. Your hair gets grayer. Ooh, that seems like a sore point for him. That's a shame. I, you know, beyond all the crazy conspiracy stuff, I think he rocks the, uh, the, the, the silver hair look. I think it's fine. But as a... Now, if you were a computer programmer, what exactly what would you do to age that character? And there's only a couple things that you can really do. 
to age that character. And if you look at the other species that are on this flat land that we live on, covered in a dome, they don't really age either. Who doesn't age? You, you know what I'm getting at? Like, I had a turtle for like 25 years and the freaking thing never aged. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you cannot personally see the signs of aging on your turtle, which I doubt. The turtle probably at least got bigger. I imagine there are signs of aging in turtles. What's the average turtle lifespan? Typical pet turtles can live between 10 and 80 years. Some larger species can live up to 100 years. So, well, there was probably, and some anecdotal records show they could live up to 150. Let's say 80 to 100. Over 25 years, especially depending on what age you get the turtle, there'll probably be some growth, uh, assuming they're not already full-grown adults, but they may be. But especially if you get them as a full-grown adult, you're probably not going to notice that much of a difference over 25 years because they have very long lifespans. Their metabolisms don't go very fast. They're slow creatures. They age slower. <laughs> a little bigger, but I mean, you know, a turtle or... They're not wearing out their bodies too quick. Well, it's only going to grow to the size that its surroundings are, you know, basically, um, or to its surroundings. Um, anyway, so... But it never changed. It never aged. Turtles don't get sick. They don't... Turtles definitely get sick. What? Turtle disease. Is... Turtle diseases. Pet turtles. Cute but commonly contaminated with salmonella. There's a disease your turtle can catch. What diseases can turtles catch? Looks like Salmonella is a big one, but I imagine there are other ones as well. <laughs> uh, shell rot? That's apparently a disease. Common diseases of pet turtles. Common conditions of pet turtles include vitamin A deficiencies, respiratory diseases, abscesses, shell infections, fractures, and parasites. As far as I know, there's no disease that kills turtles. <laughs> this is so indicative of CC's whole problem. And we've watched CC videos before. But CC, if he doesn't already know something, he assumes that information doesn't exist. Because he lacks knowledge of specific turtle diseases, and to be fair, so did I before I googled it, but I didn't assume just because I didn't know the answer, that the answer was there were no turtle diseases. He is chronically suffering from Dunning-Kruger. He assumes that he knows so much about everything that if he doesn't know a thing, it must be because that information isn't out there or doesn't exist. We've seen this in his previous videos where he was talking about rocketry and, and orbital mechanics. And he was like, oh, if space was real, how would we send rockets places? The orbital mechanics would be too complicated. No one could figure it out. No, CC, you can't figure it out. That doesn't mean no one can. I can't figure it out either because I don't, I didn't go to school for that and that's not something I'm interested in and that's not my expertise. But that doesn't mean other people don't. And just because I don't know about turtle diseases and you don't know about turtle diseases doesn't mean there aren't any. Everyone lives in a little circle, right? This circle is the knowledge that we have about the world. This is the knowledge we have about the world in which we live. And the total sum of knowledge about the world is a circle bigger than any of us can imagine. And our circle is just somewhere in there. And everyone has different circles 
where they all have their different knowledge and expertise, but to assume that your circle of knowledge is the only knowledge that exists is so narcissistic and borderline solipsistic that it frustrates me to no end. CC, there are things you don't know. That's okay. They, they like live forever. I finally had to let the thing go. Anyway, um, but you know. Wait, why did you get rid of your pet turtle? After t you had a pet turtle for 25 years? And you just got sick of them and were like, all right, fuck off, turtle. You ass. What are you doing? What do you mean you had to let it go? You had it for 25 years. Did you take a fucking turtle that you've had your, your whole life probably at that point? And you let it go out in the wilderness to die? You dick. You know, other things like fish. Fish? Do they age? I mean, have you ever seen a fish? Yes, fish age. What do you mean do fish age? What? Fish age? Octopuses. Uh, you know, whales. I mean, all these other animals don't seem to be aging. <laughs> Again, indicative of what I'm saying. Because... Because CC is not a marine biologist and because he isn't paying attention to specific fish and their aging process, he assumes it doesn't exist. It's like he never developed object permanence where he thinks if he can't directly see something, then all of a sudden it ceases to exist the second it leaves his eye line. If he's never seen a whale age over time, then Whales must live forever. It, it's, it's such a bizarre mindset. I can't even put myself in that frame of reference. I don't understand. You know, dogs, you know, mammals, you know, dogs like cats and stuff like that, they do age. You see that. You see, yes, you and I see that. Because those are domesticated animals that we are around all the time. So you can monitor that change. CC. How often are you looking at one single whale over years of its life and making observations about it years ago versus today? You've never done that. Let's Google, let's Google whale aging. That's probably a thing we can find, right? I, let me, let me take off these gloves because it gets hard to type in these. <laughs> we already looked up turtle disease. Uh, how do whales age? How do they determine the age of whales? Evidently, the techniques used on carcasses are of no help when attempting to estimate the age of living whales. In fact, researchers have very few non-invasive and sufficiently accurate methods of their disposal. Whether working in the field or examining a photo, the seasoned eyes of specialists can differentiate newborns from juveniles or adults thanks to characteristics such as their relative size and color of their skin. For example, the beluga changes color in the first few years of its life. Cafe all light, all, all light at birth, it turns bluish gray after a year, then becomes increasingly paler year after year, year until it reaches adulthood. But once an adult beluga has turned completely white, the human eye can no longer estimate its age. It could take 12 years old just as well as it could be 60. We can determine the true age of an individual through photo ID techniques, if it has been known and photo photographed since birth. Otherwise, the minimum age of a whale can be determined based on its first photo. Photo identification is a method that works well, but requires a great deal of resources and must be conducted continuously in every season if one wishes to photograph individuals from the year of their birth. Aging of fat. The age of a whale can be assessed from a biopsy, which consists of a tiny sample of fat tissue obtained using a dart. This fatty tissue contains a variety of fatty acids whose composition is strongly influenced by diet. Researchers have attained obtained promising results by analyzing the ratios between different fatty acids in order to evaluate age. Some fatty acids are associated with old age, while others are rather characteristic of younger juvenile animals. However, this method is not universal. A separate model must be designed for each population due to the influence of diet on fatty tissue composition. <sighs> Sorry, gotta catch my breath. <laughs> So there are methods to determine the age of whales and shit. You get it.
but those animals are, are part of us. You know, we all have, we've domesticated dogs and cats. But I mean, you see where I'm getting at? You live in a digital world. I mean, this is digital that you live in. We are living in a digital world, and I am a digital girl. And this just, Was that worth a pause? Probably not. Just how it is. It just seems like exactly that. I mean, it's it really is incredible. I mean, what else? What else could a computer programmer think of? You know, I mean, really, you got to make it simple. I mean, what 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 other thing that's is going to make you look older? You know. Okay, but you're you're basing that off your observations of what makes people get older, right? Which is the thing that happens naturally. So you're trying to translate that into programming, but it would be like trying to describe a color that that you've never seen before. You can't do it because you haven't seen it. So to say, like, how would you program people to look older? I can only describe to you what I have seen in terms of what makes people look older. Lines. I mean, all of it. It's it's there. You know, and then that's the only thing anybody would would ever do in, in a digital world. You know, I, I, it, it just spells it all over the place. It's there for you to see it's there for you to figure out there are tests that are done and we have, haven't even done half the tests uh different countries have done them you know when when you're not looking at something it's it's kind of faded out it's not really until you actually focus in on it and, and you look at it 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 presents itself perfectly is he referencing incorrectly the double slit experiment like 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 <laughs> Does he think that when I'm not looking at, let's say no one is observing, no one is observing my kitchen right now, assuming the kitty is not in the kitchen, uh, no one is observing the kitchen right now. Is his proposition that similarly to a video game that if no one is observing a specific section of reality, then that section of reality ceases to exist? Because that's not how that works. When a tree falls in a forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Yes. Yes, it does. Your observation is not a necessity for reality to exist. <sighs> Digitally. The sun could be right over there and it's lighting up something underneath over, you know, on, on a hill all the way over there. It's just incredible, isn't it? I mean, it's unbelievable. You know, and this is beyond flat earth. If you're not a flat earther, you'll never understand this. You'll never get it. And why even bother watching me? Uh, so, you know, skip to the next channel and, and, and watch your squirrels. <laughs> you got to love those little flying squirrels and, uh, you know, the, the dogs on the skis. You know, that's... It might vibrate the air, but if no one hears it, is it truly making a sound? Yes, because our definition of sound is disturbances in the air that creates waveforms. It is making a sound the stupidity of social networking and that's why i never got into it and that's why i got fed up when i found out that the earth is flat you know that we were covered with a dome that everything is a fucking lie and i had to put a channel out i had to let people know how i feel okay pissed pissed and when, don't even get me started about what's going on right now i mean forget it one thing after another after another after another one day is it's popcorn all day long I feel sorry for the people that are out of work. They must be going out of their minds. Because all they do is they just sit there and watch TV. Oh, maybe no. They might be playing video games. Okay. Now, back. let's go into this global... Is he warming, about to get uh, boomery uh, about video games? Back in my day, we had Pong, and that was enough. ...stuff that's going on. Now, picture yourself being in a container. Okay? And there... I'm there. I'm in a room right now, which is sort of like a container, but for me and all my stuff... ...is a constant amount of CO2. 24 hours a day for the last 100 years, and quite a bit of it. Don't you think that's going to affect the weather? Look, here in New York... Yes, it does. The greenhouse gas accumulation in the atmosphere is causing global warming. Correct. What we have now is we have three, maybe two or three years... What is he running over? It looks like he's in a on like a road that's had a lot of spot repairs... When I, I've driven down roads like that, too. I live in Michigan, where the roads are, like, constantly under construction. Um, it just looks like he's running over the, uh, 
you know, I don't know what they would call them. Basically, they take a... I've seen them do it before. There's cracks in the highway or in the road, and they just take, like, a thing that sort of fills the cracks in with some tar or some other substance, and it's not fully even, but it's enough that it works. There's a mild winters. Okay. And then all of a sudden... He's in... I think he said New York, so... Bam. We get hit. And we just were. We were slaughtered this winter. And same throughout the entire country Divots. here in the U.S. I mean, let's let's take a look at, you know, Washington. He apparently was in, like, rain for, like, two weeks. Let's take a look at Texas. I mean, really? Are you kidding me? Single digits in Texas? <laughs> you know, really? And, I don't I don't know what happened in Arizona, but I'm sure they were in a drought. You know, I mean, throughout the entire country. California. I mean, really, it's, it's amazing that, yes, global warming exists because we live on a flat plane. No, global warming exists because we live on a spherical Earth, which has an atmosphere being held to the Earth via gravity and that also applies to greenhouse gases that we release into the atmosphere that become a part of the atmosphere all being held to the earth via gravity we live in a contained dome that is the only way we can even breathe in air for crying out loud no planets exist how gravity how do they exist it's an the answer to so many flat earth questions are always just gravity. And then they get mad when you say gravity and they're like, oh, are you going to say gravity when it's the answer? Yes. <laughs> Possible. It doesn't work out. I, I, there's no way any, it, this just, it's impossible. What's beyond us? I don't know. We don't Space. even know what exactly the material is that's covering us. We have no idea. It's just an, I haven't seen a lot of chemtrails lately, actually, but we've been covered with clouds, so God knows what they're doing above the clouds, because these don't <laughs> look that low. Uh, if you look it up, Google tells you every day what the um, cloud ceiling is going to be. Okay, that's uh, chemtrails on the bingo sheet. Where is that one? We don't get that one often, but I always appreciate when we do. Here we go. This only looks like maybe 10 or 15,000 feet right now. How did I get to the, what? How the fuck am I even talking about this? Who gives a shit? Okay. These are all observations that I make on a consistent, every day, every day, about a digital world that we live in, about the corruption of the government, about everything that's being brought upon you that you've lived your life locked up for the last year. You know, unless if you're an essential worker. You know, I mean, that's that's different. You were working. You know, but still, you didn't go out and enjoy yourself, did you? No, you couldn't, because everything was shut down. And then, then the politician comes out and says, oh, yeah, you know, you guys done a really good job, you know, and, and I think we're going to reopen you uh, to 35%. What? 35%? Dude, you told us fucking a year ago that we would only have this go on for two months. And then no one listened. Well, I shouldn't say no one listened. A lot of people listened, but a lot of other people completely disregarded safety protocols. The federal government sat on its ass and did nothing and then politicized PPE that could have helped prevent the spread before it got to this level. A lot of people fucked up. Conspiracy theorists are a huge part of the problem as to why we are where we are now with the disease because they're refusing to wear masks and do basic things like social distancing. And here we are, not even at full capacity yet, at least not in my state. <laughs> it just seems, it, it, you know what really does amaze me though is how trained they, they are though. You know, I, when that report came out that people should go out and wear possibly three face masks I swear to you within a 24 hour period like the very next day I see people in my area with a minimum of two face masks on now two it makes you feel guilty doesn't it what about getting the shot you oh, should they, feel they guilty like put on a goddamn mask to call this in England the, the stab 
you know. Um, oh no, the jab. What about that jab? Huh? You gonna get the jab? No, I don't think so. <laughs> get it, you dummy. I don't like you, but I don't want you to die of a respiratory disease either. Please protect yourself and your family. <laughs> I'm not going to jab myself with some sort of Frankenstein. Uh, Jesus. Oh, man. <clears throat> you know, the serum must... Pre you know, if, if, of course, we ourselves can't get a sample of the serum. Can you? <laughs> what would you do with it if you had it? <laughs> Let's say we gave CC and we said, Oh, I saw your YouTube video. I am a scientist. I have brought you a sample of the vaccine. Would you like to examine it? What's he going to do? Take it and go. <laughs> yep, that's the vaccine. Like, he would have no way of investigating it. What would he do with it if he got one? What does that even mean? <laughs> I guarantee he doesn't own a microscope. <laughs> Even if he did, what would he look at? What would he be doing? <sighs> Do you know what it is? No. Why not? Just wait in line for it. Hey, you know, hey, what? Why don't you wait four months for it? You know, and, and eagerly wait for it. You know, say, and keep calling up and say, you know, where's my shot? Where's my shot? Where's my shot? You don't have to do that. You sign up with like... Like for me, uh, either the local place near me, which is a Meyer, that's where I've gotten flu shots and stuff in the past. You get put on a waiting list or you can do so through a, a website via the state that will notify you when it's your turn, basically. Uh, and then they'll shoot you a text or an email or whatever when it's time for that. You don't have to call them. That's how addictive people have become of the news. Well, they just say one fucking thing. It's 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 unbelievable. Then this person does it. Then that person does it. Then that person does it. And that's why I call them trained rats. <laughs> it's as simple as that. That's what it all means. <laughs> Would you jump off the Empire State Building? Sure as shit, you will. If enough people do it. <laughs> no, no. The funny thing is here. You're the one doing the jumping because you're refusing to take medicine for a disease that could kill you because other conspiracy people on the internet told you to do that, but whatever. <laughs> oh, it's just, it, 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 it's, okay. All right. Ah, oh, the geese are back. Sometimes they fly away and now they're coming back because we're starting to get, get into warm weather. Get happy. You know, we're, we're, we're finally possibly opening back up. <laughs> we're not quite sure yet at what capacity we're doing it because they're so unorganized and they're making shit up every fucking day, but it doesn't make a difference, you know? Really, it, it, it's just the mere fact that we uh, have gotten a, a, a nice little... I don't know, the sky just is flashing his... Okay, look, forget it. Treat, shall we say, for acting like good citizens, trained citizens, and not arguing with the people from the supermarket, but we have. <laughs> Stop arguing with minimum wage workers when it's a fucking policy. Just put a goddamn mask on, you loser. We have been trying to get our rights back because of all of our rights. You haven't lost a single right. We're in the middle, middle of a public health crisis. Behave like a member of society for like a year. That's all we asked, and you couldn't do it for a week. So shut up. So shut up and stay home if you can't behave like a decent member of society. Have been you have rights in society, but rights don't come on their own. Rights also are bundled with responsibilities, and your responsibility during a public health crisis is to go ahead and follow guidelines like wearing a mask and social distancing and staying in your homes. But you couldn't do it. You want all the rights with none of the responsibilities because you never are you never became an adult. You're a bunch of children. You are children in adult bodies. Learn to grow up. Take it over. All of them. They can they tell you exactly what to do. They tell you when to go to sleep. They or no, when to go home. They tell you where you can eat. They tell you what you can eat. Literally no one is telling you any of those things. If they have a curfew, again, public health reasons, 
go home or go to a friend's house, I guess, but you shouldn't be out in public telling you where to eat. No, you can get takeout from just about anywhere that still exists telling you what to eat. Certainly not. You can eat whatever you want. What are you talking about? Yeah. That healthy Italian restaurant over there, no, 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 no. We're going to close them down. We're going to let McDonald's and Burger King and all the fast food joints that have all the nice fattening food for you. Healthy Italian restaurant? If you're going to an Italian restaurant and it's healthy, you're going to a shitty Italian restaurant. You need, you need, you need layer upon layer of red sauce and cheese. Otherwise, what's the point? Opened. 24 hours a day. If I'm not close to ODing on carbs... Why am I at your Italian restaurant? Now bring me more breadsticks. I did mention cheese, so that is on the bingo card. <laughs> it's always nice when it happens naturally, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, it's just, it's so obvious. I mean, you, 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 they, they have to do this for a reason. Okay. Also, your Italian restaurant, sorry to get off topic there. Your Italian restaurant, your local one or whatever, they can still operate as long as they're doing takeout. A lot of businesses are thriving right now because they're doing takeout or delivery, and that's great. Okay, they have to. The question is, when is the next level? Where are they going to push this next level? Because they've already seen what they've done here, and they've gotten, they can get away with pretty much anything now at this point. You know, now that they've laid... It's not about getting away with things. It's trying to put a lid on a global pandemic that has killed half a million people in the United States alone. Be down the platform right now. They now know that they can get away with anything. And they keep giving money out. I just heard there this stimulus package. I don't know if, if it's an okay yet. There's a couple of Republicans apparently that don't want to do it. It, no Republicans voted for it in the Senate. What are you talking? He doesn't even know what he's talking about in regard to this shit. Why are you talking if you don't know what you're talking about? Who knows? I'm sure it's going to go through. Uh, because that's just how it is. They've got to give you money. You know, if there's no money in your pocket, that's when the riots start. Okay? That's exactly what's going to happen. So if you keep them happy and give them a couple of little, uh, you know, clamshells... Give them little tidbits, some crumbs. Uh, they'll they'll be happy if they're qualified to earn it. I don't yeah, they're trying to give people money because we're in the middle of a global pandemic that caused a severe economic downturn and record unemployment. The government is supposed to help protect citizens. Did you know that? No. But anyway, my point is, you're living in a fake world all of this has been created because of flat earth this is all happening everything that's happening is because of his pet conspiracy theory nothing else because of flat earth okay and that's it bottom line this is the reason why all of this is happening this is why the chaos is going out this is why your daughter or your son is not in school right now okay and they're just starting to reopen it in march Okay, that's it. And their lives have been disrupted for the last year. This is all because of Flat Earth. No, it's because of a disease that destroys people's respiratory system. And that's it. It's not because of anything else. You do remember that Close Encounters scene when they tried to make something up that would make people disappear when the UFOs came out on Devil's, uh, Devil's Tower. Uh, and they say it wouldn't, it, it wouldn't work. Well, it worked. It worked very well. It worked perfectly. But, you know, in, in return, what's happened, there are people that just lost their businesses and everything like that. But anyway, look, now I'm rambling. And you're not really interested in a lot of the other shit that I, that I think about. But... I thank you for subbing. I thank you for uh, viewing my videos. Let me be a part of your life. <laughs> Ooh, let's equal out this ratio. Boop. 30 to 30. Not bad. I can't believe he's just so consistent on his uploads. Oh, this was funny. He... 
he you know how there was the recent mars rover that got sent um nasa sent to mars and one of the things that's on it it's very cool is uh, a helicopter not a full-sized helicopter obviously but it's like a scientific helicopter that they're going to use to scout things out it's very neat um cc is like that has to be fake because how is a helicopter flying when mars has no atmosphere now anyone who knows even a little bit about mars is going to spot the problem with that assertion immediately the problem with that statement is mars does have an atmosphere it's just not a breathable atmosphere but it has an atmosphere <laughs> so that's fun this is just a brief three minute video so let's get through this real quick and then i'll move on good morning good evening good the atmosphere is thinner but it does exist good afternoon wherever you may be uh cc or chris it's thinner because mars has a even though mars and earth are actually pretty similar in size relatively speaking uh i believe mars is less dense meaning it has less mass so its gravity is weaker so it's not going to have as much of a pull on the atmosphere creating a thinner atmosphere from new york um westchester county and how's everybody doing in westchester county everybody, everybody good uh yeah here in new york you know i mean we're just coming out of a major winter storm and uh texas He's normally so loud in his car, but I can tell he's speaking quietly, probably because his wife is home, and as we've seen from previous videos, she hates his flat earth shit and thinks he's an idiot. <laughs> so that's kind of funny, imagining her, like, reading a book in the other room, and him trying to, like, sneakily do flat earth videos <laughs> without her noticing. Apparently is, uh, coming back to... My last video that I posted, and I think, uh... Huh. Is it far smaller than the Earth? I apologize, then. Maybe I'm thinking of a different planet. Let me take a look real quick. I just want to correct myself so I'm not spreading bullshit. Mars versus Earth size. Because I know the gravity's weaker on Mars. What's the other one I'm thinking of, then? Venus. I'm sorry. I was thinking of how Venus is relatively close in size to the Earth as opposed to Mars. That's my bad. Apologies. Correction. Thank you for catching me on that. <sighs> the uh, publisher of that video. See, the problem is... In flat Earth, we have a big problem. I mean, not only getting the satellite, you know, to the planet itself, which is just absolutely computations are impossible. They're far from impossible. Just because you can't do them and because I can't do them doesn't make them impossible. Go play Kerbal Space Program for a simplified version. Figure that out. Because you don't know how high you are and low you are and whatever it may be. It doesn't make a difference. It's impossible. But when you try to figure out the atmospheric conditions on a planet that doesn't exist, and then you're projecting a helicopter on top of it. That's they don't necessarily have to predict atmospheric conditions, considering we've sent probes to Mars before that didn't have you know, little drone helicopters on them, and they've taken atmospheric readings. We know what Mars's atmosphere is like. Pushing up air, that you have no idea what the atmospheric conditions are. They know what the atmospheric conditions of Mars are. And how would we? Don't you see how it's impossible? Don't you see that everything you're looking at up there is just an amazing fucking light show and that's all it is nope there's stars and planets 
They're going to lie to you is <laughs> beyond belief. They're going to lie to you. I almost want to take his face here and turn it into an emote. <laughs> this sort of semi-pained look. to lie to you they couldn't figure how else to explain it to people back in 1958 they figured it out then how do I know this I don't know. how do I know this I know that everything is a fucking lie that's how I know it every fucking politic okay <laughs> he had to stop himself. He was about to get too heated and his wife was going to hear him yelling about flat earth in the kitchen and she was going to come kick his ass. Everything is a lie. And when you see this, you'll understand. All right, that's it. I'm done. All right. Um, I thank you for something. I thank you for uh, viewing my videos and uh, being a part of my life. <laughs> okay, so that's CC for the day. Yeah. More flat earth space denier BS. I think this one was pretty good. I watched this one the other day. This is from two days ago. Do I want to... Okay. Do you want to do this one, which is about witches, or this one, which I think is about Donald Trump and politics? These are both a call for an uprising videos. Here, I'll do a, I'll do a poll. Do you want to do the video on witches or do you want to do the video on Trump? Vote in the poll. Oh, witches, is, witches I think is going to kill it. <laughs> oh yeah. It's not even close. Ugh. We're over 90% for witches right now. Everyone is tired of Trump shit. I understand that. I'm pretty tired of it, too. Next Chud Watch, I gotta watch the Trump CPAC speech, and I am not looking forward to that. Okay. We're not even halfway done with the poll, but witches are just dominating by so much, I think I probably should just call it and start the witch video. <laughs> We're going to call it for witches early. Count the votes. Count the votes. The poll is rigged, Hannah. I'm sure it is. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I know everybody out there, for the most part, is familiar with... Oh, so this is a call for an uprising. Sorry. Eh. Call for an uprising is a conspiracy theorist, uh, a denier of all sorts of medical information. So, of course, I don't endorse anything that a call for an uprising says. He is wrong about just about everything. So, see what he has to say today. With this, I just don't have any videos on it. I mention them all the time in my videos when talking about Freemasons and the occult. But I wanted to have a video out there because there are a lot of people who aren't aware of who the Eastern star is. So, lady. I don't think Baja is here right now, Daddy Sume. She might be doing lab stuff. You're not off the hook. She might be listening in the background while she's doing lab stuff. If I had to guess, because she hasn't commented in a while. For those of you who think that all of these satanic cults are all men's only cults or started by men, because we know the Freemasons only accept men. 
Well, the Eastern Star, the Order of the Eastern Star, is the female version of the Masonic Order. Now, it's not an only woman's club, because men do have the right to join, but it is basically completely operated and run by women. It has pretty much the same rules that are required in Freemasonry, taught to females, which means, ultimately, that these people worship, or these women, I should say, worship Lucifer. And this is another... They don't worship Lucifer... Freemasonry and its subsidiaries, or whatever you want to call them, have nothing to do with Satanism. Why are you saying this? In fact, many Freemasons are, like, highly religious, and I don't mean in Satanism, I mean they're Christian. Why do you think they're Satanists? Other than the bullshit symbology stuff. Recruiting ground for people who are female to get into the order... And just Female. <laughs> Hi, kitty. Start spreading their cancerous beliefs around local towns in America. Now, what's really humorous about this is we know that the Freemasons, right, they claim that they're, oh, they're not Satanists and they don't worship Lucifer, even though the books that they read, the teachings that they read, you go to Pike's teachings, all teach that. In what way can you cite me a specific passage that says that? Because typically, if you're going to give a citation, you want to read a passage to demonstrate that your citation is actually saying what you are saying? That would be super helpful. What's funny about the Order of the Eastern Star is all one would have to do with common or little knowledge of the occult is look at their logo. The upside-down pentagram, right? Again... The symbol of a five-pointed star? I'm sorry. I'm getting, I'm getting sleepy already. Apologies. Um, the symbol of a five-pointed star in that configuration? It's not hard to come up with that in terms of, like, graphic design if you're trying to design some sort of logo for your organization. It's kind of a cool design. Satanists don't have a monopoly on five-pointed stars. That is the satanic pentagram as their logo. So they're not even saying that they're Wiccan, which when you see the upright pentagram, that's, oh, that's the pent the regular pentagram is supposed to be for witches, people who practice witchcraft. The upside down is people who are satanic, right? We see the satanic temple uses it as their logo. We see it all over the place, the Baphomet pentagram. And the women's division of Freemasonry Eastern Star is based upon... The satanic star, the goat's head of Mendes. I don't think they thought that when they made it. I think they just thought it was a cool design. And it is one of the infernal names of Satan within Satanism. In looking at the eastern star goat's head, the star itself is a goat's head, and the star in the middle is a plain goat's head, which is within an inverted pentacle. In one symbol, there are three insta instances of inverted pentagrams. So, just how important is the pentagram to the Satanists? The Witch of Salem, Laura Cabot, on this question in her book, Power of the Witch, the Earth, the Moon, and the Magical Path to Enlightenment, says, It really isn't that difficult to distinguish the craft from Satanism. Witches wear the pentacle with the point up. Satanists... You're getting your information from one Wiccan person or someone who calls themselves a witch. Here's the thing, Call, and this is something that I don't think we'll ever be on the same page about because you believe in the supernatural for some reason. Witches aren't real. There are people who call themselves witches and cast spells, but there's no such thing as magic. No one has any ability to do magic. Satan doesn't exist. Like, none of this is an issue. People are just weirdos. <laughs> reverse it with the point down so all one would have to do is look and see the logo itself to just dismiss this and not even go any further and go this is a group of female satanists women who worship lucifer now of course what happens with these orders especially here with the order of the eastern star which was of course set up by a freemason robert morris because they felt at the time 
that they needed to organize women and start teaching this to women as well as men. But what they try to do with all of these things is say that the order is based on teachings from the Bible. That is Again, I think a lot of people who are Freemasons are very religious. They're Christian or Catholic or something. I don't really know. Catholics are Christian, obviously. But I just mean to make a differentiation between... Because there's a pretty big difference between Protestants and Catholics, but, you know. It is nothing more than a lie. These people do not believe in Jesus Christ. They do not fo follow most our... Most of them probably do. Most people in the United States are Christian. So, stands to reason, most people who are Freemasons are probably going to be religious in some way, and that religion is probably going to be Christianity. Father in heaven. They follow Satan. But they'll tell you that they follow the Bible. That's why people go, I thought Masons believe in God. No. The order is based on teachings from the Bible, they claim, but says it is open to people of all religious beliefs. Okay, in what way does that make them Satanists for allowing other people other than Christians to join them? That's not Satanism. And the real thing that they all have to do is worship. The Catholic Church doesn't like Freemasons. It's Protestant in origin. Okay. That there is a higher, or believe, excuse me, believe that there is a higher power. Now, they don't say Yahweh. They don't say Jesus. They say just you have to. Kitty, don't pause the video. <laughs> believe that there's a higher, there is somebody out there. There's some supernatural power. I believe the exact quote that they use is they say, that one follower or member of the organization has to believe in a supreme being. Yeah, AA does the same thing. They'll say that you don't have to be Christian, but they'll say, oh, you just have to believe in a higher power. Of course, typically that's Christianity, but it's not for everyone, right? They're trying to be inclusive in some way. I kind of like this camera angle. Honestly, I should have just started the stream with just hands, because I gesticulate a lot anyway. Would have been a unique... <laughs> stream format and I wouldn't have to worry about my face <laughs> in other words they want you to come in with that mindset or say listen you have to believe in a supreme being as you move throughout the lodge they, you find out to them that they're teaching you that Lucifer is the supreme being the Freemasons are not teaching anyone that Lucifer is the supreme being these people go along with it once they're found an order of the eastern star teacup let me take a look Ooh. <laughs> I honestly kind of want to want, I'm not going to buy it, but I do kind of want to get this to drink from during <laughs> my segments on, uh, <laughs> on, uh, a call for an uprising. That'd be funny. They're in, they can't get out. You can see some of the video clip that I'm showing above in this video. You can see them using the same secret Masonic handshakes, wearing the same embarrassing bibs. I mean, you think maybe they'd update these outfits, right? They're wearing bibs, for crying out loud. What are they, three months old? <laughs> I assume it's just part of their, like, ceremonial gear? I don't know. Different, like, organizations wear different stuff. Have you seen what, like... <laughs> priests wear have you seen what nuns wear have you seen what all sorts of different religions or different organizations have people wear it's pretty common got bibs on got white gloves on i mean they think there's some type of royal Ooh, elite did i upgrade because i don't have white gloves i have silver gloves Ooh. but they're not and what's funny too about the eastern star is that even on their website the first thing they'll do is deflect. They'll say frequently asked questions. Is the Order of the Eastern Star a secret society? Answer, no. Secret societies are underground and hard to find. We are easily found within the community, but we enjoy a distinctive means of identifying each other. Only members are allowed in closed meetings. So if members are allowed in closed meetings, those are secret meetings between members. Not really? <laughs> like... If it's open to the public and anyone can join, then it's not secret. It's private, right? Like, it, my local town has, like, a country club in it, right? The country club isn't secret, but you do have to be a member to go there. 
Another example up in the chat right now, Sam's Club is a secret store. Yeah, it's not secret. You just need to be a member. And I'm pretty sure membership to this is probably free, so just go join if you want. That's fine. Members of an organization, which would make it a secret society. Just go join. If you want to see what they're talking about, go join. It's probably really boring. They're most likely talking about, like, community events and stuff and planning, oh, what are we going to do uh, for the uh, the high school? We're going to raise money for the football team or whatever bullshit they do. They're, they're, they plan, like, community stuff. Are they that stupid that they just can't even realize they just, you know, answered the question the opposite way after saying no? But see how they have to defend. It's not the opposite. Saying that only members are allowed in closed meetings isn't the opposite of saying I'm a secret society. They're the opposite of a secret society. Anyone can join them. <laughs> That's not secret. Like that right off the top. And the only other thing that's important for people to know is that they have to worship a supreme being. But all one would have to do is look at the logo and see. These are women. Or how about this? You look at symbols and get incorrect conclusions from said symbols. Women who are being indoctrinated with the Masonic teachings. And they're showing you in their logo flat out. That they're Satanists. Well, that wouldn't be a very secret organization then, would it? If that were the case, then they'd just be an organization that's showing you right at the front. So which is it? Are they a secret organization? Or are they upfront about the fact that they're Satanists? Can't be both, can it? And every Bye, town Kenny. has one of these. Every town has one of these. The Order of the Eastern Star was established in the late 1800s by Robert Morris, who was a famous Masonic author who believed that women should should be allowed to partake in the knowledge of Freemasonry. Throughout the years, he conceived the idea of the Order of the Eastern Star, where since Freemasonry could not allow women to become members, women would be given the opportunity to learn Masonic values and use them for self-improvement through this separate fraternity. I mean, this is the crap that they push. Self Wouldn't that be a sorority? Is it not a fraternity when it's men and a sorority when it's women? Improvement. Oh, we're a group of friends. We're good for the community. Of course, they push philanthropy on the Wikipedia. If you just go to the Wikipedia page, which obviously doesn't give you any real information. It just gives you a scarce background and it tells you some of the some of the officers within the 18, uh, the 18 main officers in a full chapter of the Eastern Star. Stuff like the worthy matron, the worthy patron. I mean, how embarrassing. Are we playing make-believe here? These people 10 years? Kinda. I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I find little clubs like this to be a little, eh. That's why I'm not interested in joining them. But yeah, clubs and fraternities and sororities or whatever come up with grandiose sounding titles for some of the people in charge. It's a little silly, but it's their club. They can do what they want. <laughs> years old? Look at there even some of them are named after specific biblical figures. Ada, Ruth, Esther, Martha. Like these are biblical allusions. They're alluding to to biblical characters. They're not Satanists. Playing with teacups. They have the conductress, the chaplain, the marshal who presents the flag. Ruth, Esther, Martha. I mean, it's just really, you know. It's ridiculous, but, you know, the fact that they're Satanists make it something serious and a concern that people should be aware of. But, I mean, it's just embarrassing when you look at it. But, anyway, it talks about the charities they're involved in. Remember, philanthropy is how they get away with a lot of this stuff. Because they make these secret societies, these secret orders, look like they're doing good for society and good for the community. They show up, and really what they're doing is they're trying to recruit people. No, I never even leave my house. They're probably trying to recruit people because every club wants to have members, especially if they have to, like, pay dues or whatever to ensure that they can keep the club running. But I imagine a lot of the people who join this who are probably going to tend to be older people, at least in my experience. Like, my grandfather, he wasn't part of the Freemasons, but he was part of a different, similar fraternity club. 
It's called like the Lions Club or something. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I know the symbol had like a lion on it. And he similarly, they had a clubhouse, which I've been to. It's just a, like a little <laughs> thing that they hang out at with like a TV and a fridge. And they just hang out there or whatever. And they did um, uh, the Lions Club. Yeah. Uh, they did community events. Like they'd plan a, 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 what's the word? County fair that they would do every year with like a carnival. They would always plan that. They'd do concerts that they'd set up. Um, so yeah, it's stuff, stuff like that. They're like community organizers and people who do things charitably for the community and they enjoy doing those things. And it also gives them an opportunity to hang out with like-minded people. Like any club. Like that's the point. It's not nefarious. <laughs> but I did go to a, you know, one of those fall... Like food festivals was like a bu a couple towns over, like an hour or so away, and I just said, "All right, I need to get out of the house before I get cabin fever here." So I went see maybe there's some good grub, right? And what oh, they have God. at these things is this part's great. I watched this one yesterday. <laughs> they have like you know women and men. They try to sell stuff that they've you know carved with wood, you know bird houses or. Uh, you know, stuff they've knitted, like winter hats and scarves. I mean, just kind of, you know, and then local, you know, jellies and jams that people have made, right? So they have these, they have some tables set up and then they have food. And of course, you know, I never leave the house. I get there. I see some of this stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'm not buying any of this. I don't want it. And I don't need it. But I'm walking through it just trying to get some air. And what do I see? A gigantic table set up for the Eastern Star with a giant pentagram sitting there satanic pentagram right and a sign and it says uh we're giving you know, come by try our pie i was trying to warn people the pie probably had poison in it and i did yell something over i said effing witches excuse me but i did and i'm pretty positive that they heard it because they were staring me down but <laughs> a call for an uprising a real person that exists, whatever his real name happens to be, went to, like, a place where there's a community event where they have a bunch of people purveying their goods. And these ladies, I don't think this is an actual photo of the specific women he did this to, but something similar to this had a little booth for their club. Like, hey, come be a part of our club. It's fun. Come make some friends. Help the community. And he yelled at them, Fucking witches! <laughs> and he thinks he's not a crazy person. Oh. oh, God. Remember, these Satanists can also sense the Holy Spirit in people. And they had their eyes on me the entire time I was there. But regardless... That's paranoia. What I'm trying to say is that these organizations are out and about in communities trying to recruit and people do join, right? So back to the charities, they go on to talk about how they're, oh, for Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, all this stuff they donate money to. This gives people the perception that they're an organization that is here to help the community, to help the world. That is one of the main, you know, deceptive practices that they practice. This goes back to, you know, the Masons, the Skull and Bones, all of them. And they all teach each other that. To be philanthropists, that's why... Look at these powerful Satanists controlling the world. I guess their control of the world's about to get released because they all look quite old. <laughs> I don't mean... I have nothing against these people. Good for them for having a fun little club. I don't care. I just find it funny that a call for an uprising thinks... That these people are Satanists in charge of the world. All these people in Hollywood are always talking about charities they work with. It's all part of keeping people in control and looking at these organizations as if there's something better or nicer than they really are. That, oh, no, there's no way these people can... I don't think anyone thinks about the Freemasons ever except for conspiracy theorists and people who need to find a place to hold their daughter's quinceanera. Could worship Satanists. These people are witches, Satanists. That's what they are, okay? And if you ever seen some of the women in the Eastern Star, woof, I'll tell you that much. They're, oh, really? They're old ladies, come on, really? 
Ooh, Order of the Eastern Star Gavel, you say? <laughs> and you can customize what it says? Oh, no. <laughs> nope, I can't. I'm trying to save money. I can't. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll save that for if, if this still exists, like, later in the year. <laughs> Maybe I'll consider it. Boy, you think these people who are practicing all this witchcraft and Satanism. Or if someone, yes, there's the P.O. Box address if someone wants to get me a gift. My birthday is on the 12th this month. And devoting their life to the devil might ask, uh, you know, maybe to have Satan to do a little something to their teeth or their faces, but I guess not. Anyway, the Order of the Eastern Star uh, does unite men and women who share the same values and can learn from each other. In around 1850, Morris published the Rosary of the Eastern Star, which contains everything he had been working on. Quote, unquote, biblical lessons. The link is already in the chat, Daddy Sume. Pyromancer linked it. Values and principles of the Order, signs, emblems, and everything relevant to the Eastern Star. Morris went on to uh, initiate his wife and his daughters. The initiation process in this is pretty much the same as the Masons. It's, it's close to, you know, knowing someone, having a family member who was one, uh, getting recommended by somebody of a certain power in there to become a member. That's how these secret societies work. They do background checks on you and everything like that. But one of the last things I want to say, which is important, is that the Eastern Star, you know, was set up around a lot of churches back in the late 1800s. And they would trick people and they'd say, oh, you know, this Eastern Star group, we're a group and we follow the Bible. And even with the pentagram symbol, because nobody knew what it meant. And they would recruit people in churches and they would still pretend and present themselves as if they were good following Christians. That they If someone were to get it for you, what would you want it to say? Probably either, I'll give some options, probably either just Tinfoil Tuesday or... Judge Hannah, or be trippin'. <laughs> either, either, any of those are good. <laughs> they believe in Jesus Christ, and it's nothing but deceit. They still do this. They still try to get away. It's okay. Baja's gonna come uh, for my birthday. And then I probably will. Buzzing. With this. They still kind of will say that they follow the Bible, but they'll say, no, no, no. Well, we're open to all religions now because, you know, we're getting to that point where it doesn't really take a rocket scientist to realize that these people aren't Christian. Back in the 1800s, I mean, everybody was falling for all this stuff with the Masons and with them. But don't fall for this kind of crap. If you see these people, call them out for what they are. This is the female version of the Masonic Order. Again, men can also join it, but it's good to just have somewhat knowledge of it. You don't need to know you know, deep details of what they teach and, and what each thing on their star represents because then you're just, you know, learning more about them. And <laughs> Information bad. In a sense that you don't need to know, but just be aware that they're in your town. They're recruiting in our towns. They're out there. So let's, what is this called? The order of the, whatever. Let's take a look and we'll learn more about them to see what information call for an uprising doesn't want us to learn. Shall we? How do I find these amazing videos? I just have a talent for attracting crazy. Uh, <laughs> Freemasonry for women. HFAF. Is this it? The Honorable Fraternity of Ancient Freemasons. No, that's not it. What the heck did he call them? When you see him, let him know. Call them witches. Say, we know what you do. We know what you practice. Order of the Eastern Star. Thank you. <sighs> Membership eligibility is the same for the Grand Chapters and subordinate chapters that are affiliated with the General Grand Chapter, blah, 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 blah. 
Uh, are you going to actually tell me about it? Come on. Maybe they just have a Wikipedia page. Order of the Eastern, Eastern Star is a Masonic appendant body open to both men and women. It was established in 1850 by a lawyer and educator, Rob Morris, a noted Freemason, but was only adopted and approved as an appendant body of the Masonic fraternity in 1873. The order is based on some teachings from the Bible, but is open to people of all religious beliefs. It has approximately 10,000 chapters in 20 countries and approximately half a million members under its general grand chapter. Members of the Order of the Eastern Star are aged 18 and older. Men must be master masons and women must have specific relationships with masons. Originally, a woman would have to be the daughter, widow, wife, sister, or mother of a master mason, but the order now allows other relatives as well as allowing Job's daughters, Rainbow Girls, members of the Organization of Triangles, and members of the Constellation of Junior Stars to become members when of age. You have to be related to a mason? That's gross. <laughs> you mean I can't just join? No, you must be related to someone from this other club. <laughs> gross. The emblem of the order is a five-pointed star with the white ray of the star pointing downwards towards the manger. The meaning of the letters fatal surrounding the center pentagon, uh, uh, center pentagon in the emblem is only revealed to members of the order. In the chapter room, the downward pointing ray points to the west. The character building lesson taught in the order are stories inspired by biblical figures. Ada uh, Jephthah's daughter from the Book of Judges, an Eastern star, Ada is represented by the color blue and a sword and veil. Ada represents the virtue of obedience and duty. Ruth, the widow from the Book of Ruth, an Eastern star, Ruth is represented by the color yellow and a sheaf of barley. Ruth represents the virtue of religious principles. Esther, the, you get it, these are, these are all, these are all biblical figures. That represent this symbol. This symbol is the opposite of satanic. This symbol is aggrandizing female biblical figures. <laughs> no wonder a call for an uprising is like, da, 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 don't look up what these things mean. Because it completely flies in the face of everything he's just rambled on about for however many minutes. 14 minutes and you're completely thrown in the trash. By reading a cursory glance at their Wikipedia page? This, we're not stupid. The gig is up. Because it is up. The devil's time is short. And these people know it. And they're doing everything they can to shut down YouTube, shut down the internet, shut down people's personal websites that are giving... I don't think a, a secondary add-on to the Freemasons have any control over YouTube, but, you know. That's just me speaking from reality this information away because they got their hands caught in the cookie jar you know they didn't realize that so many people were going to start catching on because they don't respect god and god spreads this knowledge to people to wake people up he wants to wake his people up from this slumber that everybody is in and show you that they have tried to fictionalize the bible they've tried to fictionalize god they've tried to fictionalize the devil that's not a hard task <laughs> So they can get away with this stuff. So people will go, oh, that's not true. That's not what they practice. And the signs and the symbols reveal it all. It's right in our faces. Look at the symbol for the Eastern Star. Okay? It literally says right here, Ada, Ruth, Martha, Esther, Electra. The same symbol, the Baphomet Star, the pentagram. It's associated with Satanism and the occult. Satanic Temple's got the same symbol. Okay? It's not a coincidence. They didn't just pick it and go, well, we really liked stars and we wanted to flip it upside down because we thought it would look cool. It's probably literally that. It is literally that. And then they go on to say that they teach the Bible inside of, of their, you know, secret meetings. It's a joke. An absolute joke. So keep your eye. Let's see. Logos with stars.
Look at all these companies that have star-based logos. It's almost like people like stars as a symbol and will use them in their product logos or company logos or whatever. And sometimes people will take that star and they'll flip it a different direction. Funny how that works, huh? We could, we could do this all day. We could go and look at all the logos with stars in them. Just keeps going. You get it. <laughs> Try out for these witches in your town. They won't be hard to find. They'll probably be missing teeth and have mustaches. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families. <laughs> if you've ever Call for an uprising is not okay, and has never been okay. If you've ever had the cause, this is the of Q and the people who have actually fallen into a government psyop and truly believe it, Donald Trump is going to be returning to office on March 4th. Huh? The one thing I do think is funny is that even a call for an uprising makes fun of the, the Q people. <laughs> Or as we would say, let's channel our inner 90s. Not. Okay, and before I do this <laughs> video, I want to make it clear. Him. I am not a QAnon supporter. I don't believe in Trump or Biden. I don't believe this is a republic. I don't believe in political parties. I believe it's all part of divide and conquer. For so that's a call for an uprising for today. I'm sure we'll get back to him next week. He has... He has no end to the ridiculous content that he can put out, so I appreciate that. World's smallest cat. A rusty, spotted cat. Footage, considering how shy they are. They probably put up cameras, like motion detector cameras, all over this area, and then they just pick the footage that fits the best. Absolutely adorable. I'm sure it would mess you up if you tried to screw with it, but <laughs> very cute. Oh, this guy's freaking out lately. He's been getting into a fight with some other person on YouTube who does flat earth stuff, uh, or I should say anti-flat earth stuff, debunkings like I do. Irish demon. So he's not been having a good time. How many times can you say it? If you are claiming Earth is a globe, I do not believe a word out of your lying mouth. If you do not show physical demonstration of your absurd claim, don't bother wasting either of our time leaving a comment. I'm just going to delete it because you are a deluded liar whether you're aware of it or not. None of your words equal science. Either give me a link to scientific demonstration of your asinine, deluded, insane claim, or just shut the fuck up. <laughs> These people can't even follow the most basic direction. Can't even provide the most simple request. Show scientific proof of your deluded babblings. And they can't, won't ever do it. We know why, because they can't. And that's the big secret they don't want anyone else to realize. So they just keep drumming and drumming with their babbling, nonsense, insanity. <laughs> Eventually, the sheep will catch on. <laughs> okay, let me do some bits messages. Hmm. Purple Nickel with 100 bits says, What? Uh, g -g 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 Gatsby, thank you for following. Chaotic Star Whale with 100 bits says, Chemicals in the water are turning the frickin' turtles immortal. Uh, M Mania with 302 bit, or three, <laughs> sorry, M Mania 302, thank you for following. I get in a mode when I'm doing bits messages and sometime I'll misread numbers as bits. <laughs> Apologies. M Mania 302, thank you for gifting a sub. 
Antipodian Squid, thanks for resubscribing for 10 months, says, look out, we're approaching a year. I can't believe we're so close to a year with me on Twitch. Crazy stuff. Gabe Owners, thank you for following. Uh, Emerald Vulcan, thanks for following. Daddy Sume says, I'm back again. Pyromancer says, if I didn't watch it age to death, then it never happened. Bardlock Moses with 50 bits. Orcas live so long they go through menopause. Cool. Look at this dog and cat says, to him, gray hair equals aging. No hair, no aging. Jeff Malartz, bits, bits, yay, I love bits. I love bits. Love, love, grr, effing love bits. Ends with swim team. I finally caught up on WandaVision and I cried a lot. I love those two. WandaVision has been great. Sandy Frizzle, thanks for following. Querulous Artisan with 100 bits says, ah, yes, Michigan, pothole land. Antipodian Squid with 100 bits. Google tells us every day what the cloud sheet is going to be. Do you mean the weather? <laughs> Daddy Sume, how do prions work? The noob monster with 20 bits. Multiple people do things I disagree with equals brainwashed. Science ho, thanks for following. Cool name. Tentacly Alien Man, thank you for resubscribing with seven months. MMO Addicted with 20 bits. Looks to the line of Parmigiano, Reggiano, uh... In front of him, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. Purple Nickel, my brain, my brain. Antipodian Squid with 30 bits. He sounds mad that people don't think don't think it's because of Flat Earth. Yeah, he probably was. Daddy Sume, can someone send me the link to the guy being yelled at by his wife? If you look up his channel, CC, it's C, it's C space C. I think that's it. Or if you just search like Flat Earther wife, you'll probably find it. Groucho Snark, thanks for following. MMO Addicted says, And now Hannah attracted the attention of Wiki Hands. Is that a thing? Jeff Millarts with 100 bits says, Oh my god, oh my god. Kitty, 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 kitty. Freaking Out 99, Costco is a secret store. Antipodian Squid says, As of the patron only stream, the Stana patrons are a secret society. True. Jeff Millarts, thanks for the 50 bits. Uh, Bleachy Gal, thank you for the $10. Much appreciated. Daddy Sume says, XCOM enemy within proves the truth. Freemasons and Illuminati are alien collaborators. Send me the link, I'll get it for you. Eh, the link was in chat. You don't have to do that anyway. Wiki hands does indeed exist. Of course it does. Bardlock Moses with 50 bits says, He attacked other people's looks, so I get to call him ugly at least once. <laughs> I'm not going to read the rest of that message. Marcus Drake with 100 bits says, I know a Mason. He's a Christian who literally joined to stop drinking. He's the least scary person ever to live. Tucker White says, This Tinfoil Tuesday, uh, this is Tinfoil Tuesday, Hannah, not religious history class. Make with the penis jokes. Okay. Ah uh, ha ha. Aren't penises funny? Wieners. Ha ha. Uh, Towing24 says, Unfortunately, Rainbow Girls is not as gay as we hoped. <laughs> Rachel Lewis. Oh, no, that's a YouTube notification. Sorry. Well, Rachel Lewis subscribed on YouTube. Bardlock Moses with 50 bits says, Waiting for the video about the Dallas Stars being satanic. Tucker White with 20 bits says, That's enough. Uh, Querulous Artisan with 20 bits says, So small. Uh, Altered Rin, thank you for resubscribing with seven months, says, Take some Bezos bucks because you've paid off by Big Earth, Big Pharma, Big Science to make all those people speaking the truth seem like a bunch of idiots. Thrash Mio with 50 bits says, We're being censored. I'm remove comment. D Bardlock Moses with 50 bits, I loved this guy when he was in the Devil's Rejects. Creeping Darkness with 20 bits says, More Wild Kitty Cleanse. And the swim team says, Paul Bettany looks like he's having a great time in the early WandaVision episode. Such a fun watch. I agree. Daddy Sume with a link to wiki hands that I'm not going to click on. <laughs> okay, let's see. I've got 10 thumbs down on my last video asking globe liars to explain how every action has an equal opposite reaction, yet the supposed reaction of the globe spinning at the pole at three inches per day is the exact same reaction 
as water on the pole spinning at a thousand miles per hour. Much more force. Water at the poles is not spinning at a, even if you're the thousand miles per hour thing, which again is linear velocity and not rotational, but even if you're using that, that's at the equator which is literally the furthest you can get from the poles before you start going towards one of the other poles. The thousand miles per hour is at the equator. Sorry, Globe Priest. Three inches per day versus a thousand miles per hour, 24,000 miles per day, is not equal force. Yet, physics says there must be an equal opposite reaction to each force. I don't think he understands what that means either. Yeah, according to you, they both... That means like... Like, how do I put this? When I exert a force from this gavel onto the block, the block exerts an equal force back at the contact site between this and that. Right? So like, if, if this were made of glass, for instance, and I hit it as hard as I could on this it's quite possible I'd shatter or break the glass head because even though I am exerting force with this, once it hits the surface, the opposite reaction causes the same amount of force to hit the object. That force can then shatter it or damage it or whatever. I don't know what he's talking about. Produce perfectly flat, mirrored, still lakes. Yes, because again, the Earth isn't rotating very quickly based on its size. The Earth is huge, and the centrifugal force that would be caused by the rotation of the Earth is much weaker than that of gravity. And it's also not really... Ex I think there is actually some acceleration or deceleration to the Earth over long periods of time, but it's not enough acceleration that anyone would be able to notice. I think it's a deceleration. The best response I got is, Well, you talk a good game, but you never do any tests yourself. Wrong. Thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, tens, hundreds of thousands of people have seen me do physical demonstrations. YouTube constantly deletes them. And blames it on hate speech. Meanwhile, that's all you clowns ever do is run around leaving hate speech comments in people's comment sections, never doing any science as much as you claim to be about science. See, so if I don't, I don't perform surgeries either while being pro like surgeon, right? Because I don't have that expertise. I leave operations to surgeons. I leave science to people who are trained to do it correctly. I'm someone who says dumb shit on the internet and people pay me for some reason. Do I seem qualified to correctly design, perform, and then document a valid, peer-reviewable scientific experiment? No. I wouldn't even know how to start. <laughs> Neither do you. If you do the test, you can't just write it off to, uh, flurfs are idiots. You have to actually face the physical, scientific results you produced and try to explain them away in your heliocentric fantasy. So, for once in your miserable life... Flurfs is flat earthers. Lives, why don't you proclaimed scientists do some actual science? Oh yeah, because it will prove your globe is an absurd fantasy in your deluded little mind <laughs> chew on that bubba someone hire this guy to be the next joker <laughs> god he's posting so many videos every day is he okay Are you a bored, no life having, science denying, inbred, devolved monkey that sits in your mom's basement and trolls people on YouTube 
24-7. I think this is part of his back and forth with Irish Demon. Well, you too can be a proud defender of NASA. All you have to do is deny any physics and real-world science that proves the globe is a complete and utter fabrication and insult anyone exposing that to the public. You too can utter brilliant scientific phrases like, You're an idiot! <laughs> this is definitely in response to Irish Demon. I like a lot of Irish Demon stuff, but I do, and I don't, if Irish Demon sees this, I don't even know if Irish Demon knows I exist, to be completely honest, much less watches my content. I do think that a lot of people, and I'm not just going to say this is Irish Demon, because this, this applies not only to myself as well, because I do get into this mode sometimes, especially if I'm not having a great day, uh, but it applies to a lot of other people who cover, like, Flat Earth content, too. Get into a bad habit of just saying, like, you're an idiot to things they say. And, well, yes, that's true. And the frustration that causes you to get to that point, I understand it. If we're going to be providing this content and we're going to be talking about stuff like this, we should probably be able to let that go and not just say, you're stupid, you're an idiot. And actually, at every point that we can, explain why they're wrong. And not just say you're stupid. Um, that can be repetitive. I understand that. But, you know, isn't that the point? Like, if I want to just dunk on people and just insult them, I could probably find better people to do it to than flat earthers. I find it interesting specifically because of the reasons they're wrong. And because, excuse me, because of the psychology behind what causes people to turn to this sort of stuff. Just a thought, though. I'm not criticizing anyone for that. Like, anyone can do whatever they want with their videos. It's just an observation I make as someone who enjoys debunking videos. It can fall into that trap of just, well, you're an idiot. You're stupid. You're an idiot. And that's not fun. At least I don't think so. It gets boring. NASA doesn't have to listen to anything you say. You're an idiot. No matter how much scientific demonstration and proof of real-world physics you do, like a plumb bob, moving at three inches per day is never going to act the same as a plumb bob moving at 1,000 miles an hour on the equator 24,000 miles a day. But it's all moving together with the, the Earth. It has the conservation of momentum. How how do you think this works? Do you think the plumb bob acts entirely independently of the surface that it is on? And I understand it, stand, it stands there in the sense that you could do sort of a, a pendulum-like experiment. But, like, I, I guess I don't understand his criticism here. If you're a NASA fanboy, all you have to do in response to to this physical demonstration of real science is say, you're an idiot. And you too can be a brilliant NASA fanboy that claims they're all about science, but never does anything but say, you're an idiot. <laughs> is there a bigger group of basement dwelling retards on this earth? Uh... I really don't think so. <laughs> I don't like his laugh either. I know that's ironic coming from me, but I don't like his laugh very much. Uh... What are his most popular videos? These globe trolls are obsessed with triggering people. They think I'm so triggered. 
Again, that's an, and I don't mean to call anyone out. I really don't. I do watch Irish Demon's content, and I often enjoy it. But so many of Irish Demon's videos lately have been like, Flat Earther triggered by... It's like, ah, ah, is this where we're at, really? <laughs> no, I just put another notch in my belt. Because I, a little nobody, with a shitty little Android phone from my garage, terrify corporations like NASA... <laughs> There's a lot to unpack there. NASA definitely doesn't know you exist. Um, and secondly, NASA is not a corporation. It is a governmental agency. YouTube with the Nazi Jew Susan Wodobolchinsky. That's an oxymoron, okay? <laughs> Running it. <laughs> How convenient. A Jew that grows up to be a Nazi... I don't condone anything that's being said right now. What the heck is wrong with this guy? Ministry of Truth cunt. <laughs> really? Come on. <laughs> the irony. <laughs> and I terrify that bitch. I make her piss her little panties. <laughs> the CEO of YouTube definitely doesn't know who you are. There's a link. Someone asked for it in the chat. <laughs> she has to continually delete a nobody from his garage because he destroys her narrative constantly. <laughs> That's almost as funny as electing Joe the pedophile Biden as president. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why his videos and channels keep getting deleted. Must be a conspiracy. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. That's this guy. <laughs> Terrible. I don't think we're going to cover him again for a while. Gross. <sighs> what can we watch as a cleanse? We'll do some jambalaya sausage and then we'll raid someone after we do some bits messages. How about that? Who's live to raid? We have some other options. We'll figure. Okay. Maybe Blizzbear. Well, hey, hey, folks, and welcome back. I guess. So, so we're making a jambalaya today. Where if you're not from New Orleans, you've already made it wrong. So it's the jambalaya sausage. Christ, that took forever. Okay, it's, let's, all right, let's make this jambalaya. stuff like this i think he, some people are saying they don't like that he's like wasting it and stuff usually in in past videos when i've seen him do stuff like this he'll make like half a portion for the sausage and then the rest he'll actually set aside and just eat normally like he's he did a beef wellington one once and he made two he made a normal beef wellington and then he made one for the <laughs> sausage so he doesn't use it all for the sausage usually i think At least for stuff like this. He's done fast food sausages too, but he uses the entirety of those. 
In three, two, one, let's charge it. I gave you I gave you another chance. Well there there it is. There's one of the saddest Willie blows we we've ever had. I'm gonna give that five mark ruffalo. <laughs> Why? <laughs> he and his wife so argue. Sweet. Now I burst it. We still got to get this, you know, into into a hot dog bun. You had so much potential. All right, let's go on. I think this one will probably actually be good. Tasting table and taste this sausage. We, we, we've arrived at the time where we where we taste the sausage. But first, we got some fan mail uh, to open. And uh, let's, see, let's see what it is. And... <laughs> It's a sausage award. I always wanted to receive recognition of my sausages in trophy form. So thank you, Tyler Courtney from Far Out Awards. All right, so let's, you know, uh, so let's taste the sausage. This show makes me want to get into like making sausage, but I think it would make Baja vomit. <laughs> so I don't think that's something I'll be able to get into in the future. This sausage is, is big on flavor. It, you know, unfortunately, it started bursting left and right, so we, we, we didn't have a chance to cook it so that the rice uh, firmed up a, a, a little bit more. It's not, it's, not a, it's not a firm sausage. It tastes like a mushy jambalaya is what it tastes like. So we're going to have to give this sausage here is a three and a half out of five. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> yeah. I love that guy. Here's his channel in case you've not seen Ordinary Sausage before. He's very funny. He's got a lot of really good videos. They're, they're that kind of YouTube, easily digestible content that you can just kind of put on in the background, a playlist, and just let it run for a couple hours. It's easily digestible content, unlike some of the sausages. Ayo. <laughs> let me do the bits messages and then we'll raid someone. Thrash Mio with 50 bits. We're being censored. I'm remove. Oh, no, I already read that one. Deluded man calls the rest of the world deluded. Meanwhile, his only defense is that is that only against flat earth is an idiot. True. Uh, don't do meth, kids, unless you want to end up like this guy. He has strong cartoon villain energy, and then Bardlock Moses says something terrible about that flat earther that I just can't repeat. So. <laughs> Wait, which joke did I steal? I want to give you credit if you said it before I did. Because that happens sometimes. Me and Chad will come up with the same joke accidentally. And I don't want anyone to think I'm ripping them off. I genuinely just didn't see whatever your message was. Whatever it was, I'll give it to Mitchell Drummer. I apologize if I said the same joke as you in the chat. Millennial Matt, happy birthday. I hope it's a good one. You're watching it. We all need help sometimes. It's part of being a human being. That's oh, so important. Okay, the easily digestible joke. It's just a part of being a human being. Twitch is, Twitch is hiding the emotion. That's the, that's the next Scorpio moon transit. Let's go. Let's mess it up. Let's raid yeah, Blizz Bear. Have a little bit open with you all about it. Have um, a wonderful evening, everyone. That, I hope you enjoy Blizz Bear's okay, stream. Stick around. Yesterday. He's very entertaining morning, and uh, go, just very cozy. What a nice, things. what a I nice stream for song. everyone to go spend time at. I recorded a song Everyone, you're all valid. Stream, I'll be back so tomorrow like, for a whatever Wednesday stream. We'll just be watching whatever I want. And yeah, we're gonna do. So get ready for that.
We are thanks everyone. Artists. Follow if you liked what you saw. But we are trying. Subscribe I'm if you want cool there's emotes. No I am not. A, that's I am it. not. A Have a wonderful artist. night, everyone. <laughs> there's no album. I've heard a song for stream. New here. I'm digging the vibe. You're clear.